Hello, Nicolero. Danielita. How are you? Very good, very good. How are you? I'm um, good too. <laughs> How's everything? Uh, good. Good? Good, yeah. We have uh, a new president, Danielita. We do. Yeah. yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, me too. I'm very, very happy uh, about that. I think this country has been run the same way for decades. Mm -hmm. And it has the same problems. It has had the same problems for decades. Mm -hmm. The exact same problems. It has enormous corruption. It has uh, immense inequality gaps. Uh, it has to deal with um, trafficking of drugs, production and trafficking of drugs. Um, and, um, you know, aside from social problems that are, I, I guess, could be part of any other um, developing country, but we have problems in education, housing, um, getting electricity to certain parts, certain rural, rural parts of Colombia, um, roads built to certain rural parts of Colombia, you know, basic needs, uh, hunger. And um, I, as, aside from ailing problems that um, that a newer generation has to deal with, like um, Colombia is quickly becoming one of the most efficient uh, call centers, call center countries in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's only becoming that because young people have no, you know, no other jobs that they can apply to. Uh, so it's very sad, you know, educated young people that spend four or five years, um, you know, going to uh, college. Paying a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, getting in debt, their families or themselves getting in debt. And uh, the only way out is to uh, be part of a call center. If you so, can get in. Yeah, right, that's right. That's not a thing. given. Exactly. So That's like the best uh, work for people that can't mm. get another uh, job. What I'm trying to say is, I mean, it's not ideal, but the sad part here is that there's people that also go to the university, graduate, and they can't even get into a call center to get that amount yeah. of money, which is super sad the the I very mean, sad just... truth right the very sad truth is that people can't um apply their knowledge and can't live a life where they do what they like to do and um if the only thing in your mind is to say like any job is good job like don't complain be grateful for your job and mm -hmm. just you know put your head down and work i guess that that's one way of looking at it I think that's a miserable word, uh, yeah. like world, I'm sorry. Um, I think everyone in this planet deserves to be given at least the chance to do what they love and, you know, to lead a life where they can make a, a living based on what they love. Yes. So this country has been run the same way, the exact same way for decades, for decades upon decades upon decades. And nothing ever changes. And sure, there are people, many people like us, because we have to, we have to say it, we belong to a class that we don't have to deal with those problems, you know, day in and day out. We are a very privileged class. And there's certainly a lot of privileged people in Colombia, in every big city, that it for sure. Mm -hmm. And usually people like us, we, if we are not bothered by the things that go on outside our bubble, outside our, our bubble, we don't care. It's like, oh, that's happening in the uh, periphery. Like, we don't care. That doesn't really affect us. And the truth um, is, like, this country is bigger than just our little bubble. Yeah. Than our small families, which we love, which we adore, which we wish nothing but the very best of things in the world. But this country is so much bigger than any of us. And, um, you know, there has to be a day where you have to want everyone to be better, every single person out there to be better, that that little bit of privilege that, you know, we were born into can be the right for everyone. Can, mm -hmm. you know, that every single person in this country has the right to be born. Yeah, that's and that's not a privilege. No, anymore. no, and has the right to have the same things, mm -hmm. you know, you and I grew up with. Yes. That's, um, 
And, you know, there's a lot of fear now because it is, it is, mm, this new presidency suggests something that is quite opposite from the ways that yeah, this country changes. has been run. Yeah. And, um, and sure, like, as any government, they will have to be held accountable to, in trying to, you know, procure those big changes for, for every single person. Um, every single inhabitant of, of Colombia. But in my mind, at least at this point in my life, I'm like, why would you not give them a chance? Mm. Why would you not? Like if you've been doing the same thing yeah. decade over decade over decade over decade and nothing has changed because nothing has changed. Yeah. Inequality is the same. And nothing Corruption is the better. same. No, That's I mean, the thing. I mean, it's again for people like us, You know, things are fine. Things are totally fine. But because things have always been fine. Right. But I think that you can think about a country without thinking in the community aspect of it. You shouldn't be thinking about you and just your benefit, but everyone's benefit. Because in a country, if everyone's okay, like the country is getting better if everyone's okay. Not only if some are super wealthy and super educated and have all the benefits in the world. Yeah. And then there's like a big percentage of people that can't even Enormous. afford a meal a day. Yeah. Or, Enormous percentage. Uh, education. Or, or housing. Exactly. They, they, they can't even live in a place that's, you know, with dignity. Yes. I think we, we have mistakenly thought of countries as being, I don't know, efficient. Um, when we look at, the people that are the richest and the truth is we should look at the country we should we should judge a country based on the poorest person yes. in that country yes because that's what really speaks about exactly the country's hill exactly look at the poorest people living in that country and that tells you what that yes. country is like that, co those, that country's priorities yes the the way the government is run yes, where they where they steal the money from mm. You'll, you'll get to know a lot about a country when you look at the poor people. Yeah, I was going to say, what's the point on seeing in the country's stats and thinking, well, I mean, they have like a very good income. If you're just talking about some, I don't know, hundreds of people yeah. that have tons and tons of money. Yeah. When there's people that, as we said, can't even afford a housing. No. It doesn't make right. sense. They have to, you know, walk down... Um, to a pothole to get water from yeah. and then walk, you know, back with a gallon full of water. I mean, yeah. it's, um, it's not right. No. That's how it's been done for decades. And uh, why not? What is so scary about saying, give somebody else a chance to try to see if they can make it a little bit better, just a little bit better. And yes, you know, nobody's perfect here. Nobody. There's no like mes like Messiah that's going to fix everything. That also has to be, you know, people have to be realistic about this. Um, and governments should be held ac accountable. Governments work for citizens. Yeah. You know, w we tend to always like look up to government and no, we don't have to look up to anyone. They are serving us. A government should serve the people. So they work for us. So they should be held accountable for what they promise and... Hopefully, you know, people will keep an, a close eye. And my biggest hope is for things to actually work. Because why would I not want that for everyone? You know, I want things to be better for everyone. I want things that are promised to actually, you know, work. Hmm. And, um, but I have uh, hope. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's. Uh, It was time for a change. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm happy that. Yeah. Uh, the majority of the people. Oh, it's huge. Like what there there's clearly a, a polarized country because yeah. like uh sectorism, uh tribalism has been, you know, really really on the rise on the entire world. Mm. Everyone picks A or B. That's how the world is run right now. Um and sadly so sadly, uh this is this is one of the times Is probably one of the ugliest campaigns ever in the mm. history of Colombia. Yeah, super dirty. Yeah. Um, 
And the truth is that essentially half half of the country voted for one person, half of the other country voted for the other person. Yeah, so half of the country is unhappy at half, this moment. Yeah, half of the country wa- also was going to be unhappy regardless of who was going yes, to be the but president. What I'm trying to say is it's important to the elected president also. Because mm-hmm. I think it's a bigger challenge to oh, know huge. that you don't have. I mean, you have half of the country that's rooting for you, but then you have to prove to the other country that they have exactly. to root for you. And the only way to do and it is by making compli- things work. Exactly. And in a very complicated um, country by itself. Yeah. So That carries a lot, a lot of baggage. Oh, yes. But so the, the, the one way to do this, make things work. Things. Yeah, yeah, but I, as you were saying, I also have hope. Yeah. And more than hope, I have trust. Like I trust in the things I... The reasons why I voted, yes, I trust them to be something that can uh, help our country I, tremendously. I think I'm with you. I trust, you know, in my heart, the ideals that are being promoted. Hmm. Ideals. These are not like things that that can be easily um, understood as concrete, you hmm. know, things uh, that government is going to do. But at least they show you like uh, the direction you want to go. Those ideals represent me. Yeah. The ideals, yeah, for sure, a hundred percent. I think almost every artist. I'm not saying I don't want to generalize, but artists tend to lean left. That's the like, let's see. yeah, that's it. It's just plain and obvious, and it has to do with our jobs. It has to do with our community. It has to do with the things that we have to go through. It has to do with the people that we meet. Mm. Coming from all over the place, like people that have a lot, people that have nothing. Um, we realize that the amazing artists can be, you know, amazing art can come from people with immense need and amazing art can come from people that have a lot. Yes. And so we, I think we experience a world where we realize, okay, you know, there's a ton of things that could be far more balanced in this Uh, world. Wait, because I wanted to answer to Caitlin Hernandez. Yep. Who's been saying, I can't see him. I can see Nick. Oh, yeah. So uh, today, it's like a regular session setup. So Nicolas's voice is going to be present. Yeah. But Nicolas's face is I'm not I'm going to do the uh, VO. Yeah, the thing is that we're going to show some... Part. Uh, yeah, a, a small part, part. Exactly. Of the things we own. Yeah. Art things we own. And we were talking about this. And I think the best setup, as you said... Uh, to this showcase, one? in order to showcase like the works that we're yes. going to show, yes, it's probably also, this. Yeah, because when we have the camera in front, the color is oh, super yeah, distorted. Oh yeah, it's always weird. Yeah. So it would be super complicated for you to see the work, like the most faithful you could see it. Right, right, right. So this one was uh, the easiest um, setup. So it's going to be kind of different. You're going to be seeing bit. me here again. And but I'm here. just, yeah, we're going to be speaking about things we own. We're going to be showing the things we own. But I'm just going to be here uh, seeing the things with you guys. Yeah. Like reacting to the things <laughs> I already know we have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you can't see Nicolas' reaction because, I mean, this is our setup today. So, so once again, I and, and we've shown some of these things. And we're, go- we're going to concentrate on smaller things today. Yes. And then we'll do a part two. And let's say some of the smaller yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so. and we apologize if, if, if it becomes like a little too much. But, um, but part of, you know, part of our philosophy when we started our Painted Lives was to always say, if we're doing well, it's our responsibility to also help out, to also support other people. If people yes. are, you know... Uh, being grateful to us by supporting us, we have to be grateful to, uh, you know, all the artists out there that provide us with energy, with inspiration, with something to look up to every morning. And the most obvious thing that we could do is like, we're doing well, let's kind of try to spread that. And we can't, you know, help 200 artists do incredibly well. And if we spread all of that, that it's... um, you know, it, it, it's not going to mean much. Mm-hmm. But I think that for us, it's important. And, and for us, you know, as a reminder every day to say, if we're doing well, let's just try to make um, 
let's try to make it a habit to to say oh let's look for art that we you know encourages us that fills us with passion yes and i don't th even think it's like helping yeah because i don't think that's uh exactly the reason why we do it right we just do it because we really enjoy other people's art yeah and we know that there is a lot of artists if no every artist would l love to live from what they do yeah and a way to encourage them to keep producing amazing art is to buy their work yeah so we do have a a budget yes we don't always. have like a super big budget we and we should say adore some yeah we should say danny we, before that that's me. yeah there's so many people that we wish we could buy stuff from yeah that's what i was gonna say i mean there's a lot of artists that we adore but we simply can't afford to buy uh, their work or some but that we, we are, haven't yet yes. let's say that too yeah so but in the we future very, we hope so also very vo vocally uh supporting those artists yes if try we, we try to exactly even if we can't or we haven't um buy some something they did yeah so yes we should uh, start then yeah so I think we yeah should and start. and uh, we started with uh with the uh, message about a, like a little pack yeah there. i can start you, with that you can start with that yeah if you want so to. we started with um no, no no i was gonna say we started we started talking about our country and it's important i think it is yes. important um and it's important people we we were pretty pretty open about it last week about who we were going to vote um our candidate won so that makes us um happy and hopeful mm -hmm. not happy like haha in your face happy no. that's ridiculous no uh, hopeful hopeful you know i think that in our hearts what we want to see is just a better country yeah, that's all we, we want to see i think that the best way to think of a healthy con country is to think that everyone can be part of that country yeah it's not like if you don't think like me you're out because no. i don't think that's healthy that's not constructing right so i am happy that you and i share that idea yes. of not being like mm, ay, digo? Dime. no let me try go like not being rejectful um Just, is that a word or not or rejecting not reject exactly uh, other people because of their political beliefs no because i do think that we have to build a country together we can't uh think that the country is gonna get better if the half of the country wants something and the other half want another no. thing so we do have to start i mean this is a win for me but we do s need to start building like step by step our country again and try to reconcile a lot of things that have been lost for a lot of years yeah and that have vanished and we also do have to not only economically build like that bridge between yep. the big gap we have but also in the way we think yes we have to be more amicable with other people tolerant yes. also there's there's immense intolerance here yes. in uh, sadly as in every part of the world um so so that was the um so that's the uh, beginning of the video yes <laughs> a little intro yeah yeah yeah. but it's important yes it's important so that people know where we stand and you know, we're, we we don't have to talk about this all the time, mm -hmm. but just know that we are artists. We are we are both Colombian artists. There was no way we were going to vote differently. So anyways. Yes. So um, I'm going to start with a piece. OK, uh, I was going to say hi, but. You oh, yeah, please go. Go. First. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll put it. I'll put it up while you say hi. Yeah. You know, I have to move this or I'm going to take our usernames out of the screen maybe make them a little bit smaller no you can put them on on the on top, top left top left corner because oh, yeah. i think uh, this um diana marcela yeah. i think this piece by diana marcela is probably one of the largest ones we're going to yeah, show today it doesn't fit completely it's okay i can kind but, of move it up and down a little bit yeah maybe for the uh the next parts of our collection we can figure a different setup we'll see yeah we'll see yep so so you go ahead. No, do you want to um what? Say hi? Well I just oh, hold this yeah, up a yeah, little I bit. Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do I want to talk about that work? Sure. Um Paston was saying hello. 
Hey, Pastin. Cosette dice, primera vez que entro empezando. Grande Cosette. Hola, Cosette. Francisco Beltrán dice, hola, Danielita y Nicolás. Saludos de Chile. Hola, Francisco. Hola, Francisco. Nicolás, Nicolás Mijarevich said, hello, everybody. Uh, hi, Nicola. Cody was also saying hi, OPL. Anselmo Domingos dice, hola, saludos desde Mendoza, Argentina. Latinoamérica debería unirse para generar una gran economía en la región. Yo siento que todos los latinoamericanos somos hermanos, pero nos han separado y puesto en contra. Los pocos que son ricos no forman el país, el pueblo en su totalidad son el país. Muy bien. Eh, Fausto Soler dice hola. Um, hola, Fausto. Kathleen Hernández was saying hello. Catherine Kenny was saying hi, Danny Nicholas in chat. Liet was also saying hello. Um, Arman MSA was saying hello, Nicolás. Hey, Arman. Francisco de la Poza dice hola a todos. Espero que hayáis empezado bien la semana. Eh, let's see. Margo estaba diciendo hola. Dice que was saying. Hola, Margo. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, was saying, Margo. Eh, let's see. Catherine was saying hello, Nicolás and Danny. Hello, chat. Alejandra Ardila dice hola. MA was saying hola, hi, Alejandra. everyone. Hi everyone, me alegro de las noticias de su país, asusta ver cómo la extrema derecha está creciendo en el resto del mundo y yo creo que por saludos estamos ahí, ah bueno y Lucas Filapi dice hola, si quieres empecemos. Listo, so, entonces, so, um, this is going to be very eclectic and we're going to try to give credit to everyone that we're going to show. Yeah. And I'm going to say try because I was looking at some pieces and I probably need some help. Maybe if someone Cody, here Cody, Liad, yeah, the you guys have to help me artist, out. Please. Because I and this this is this this is on me. Like I should remember every single person. That's like that's my thing. And many times people are so, you know, nice that they send me like a message and I'm always like, "Oh, this is so nice." And I keep it and then I lose it. <laughs> and With a lot of people, I remember them, but there's a lot of work from people that I've only spoken to them once, maybe, and that it's not, you know, it's still immense respect. Like, I love what they do. I mean, that's the reason but, why we bought yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And it goes to show you, like, we don't care. Like, we, we don't care if it's somebody that's well known. We don't care if it's something that it, that, that it would be good business to buy something or that we say, oh, my God. Oh, and like, we never look, buy Look, James things. Jean is selling something for yeah. like eight bucks. Like, we should buy a hundred of those. And we never no, buy we it don't. thinking about selling it no, in the future. It's nope. just for us. No, so. I only did that with James Jean's uh, paintings. But you didn't buy But them. I didn't buy them at the time. I bought thinking them and were... I sold them because my son was born. And I thought I'd I would never have enough money to... <laughs> to um, To help with Samu. So, yeah. anyways, this is Diana Marcela. Her Instagram is Martesela. Mm -hmm. So, M A R T E C E L A. Oh, do you want me to um, type? Because I don't know if we're going to remember all the artists. Oh, geez. Instagram. Because remembering na the name is one thing, but remembering yeah. the Instagram, because people have like different, like, I know. funky names. I'll like, try so. to give you their Instagram. Yeah. But, um. Oh, and I was going to say, I mean, we didn't prepare this. No. Uh, we were just like taking some things out just S before stuff we out. started. So, yeah. yeah, so and this I was is telling, probably messy for us a yeah, little bit. Yeah, but I was telling Nicolas that it's like the first time I really, really enjoy people signing their work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for... it was for... way easier to remember everything. Nicolas was like, ah, there's not a signature. And I was like, Nicolas, you... I don't sign that anything. ...that go against Yeah, signatures. I know, I know. I'm You're start, asking for signatures. I'm going to start to do that just for people that go like, who the hell did I buy this from? Yeah. Oh, Uri, Urin. Urin. Nicolas Urin. Urin. 2022. Yeah. Oh, I'd love it if they did a video on their collection. Yeah. And it's like, I own a this, Nicolas Urin. this is Col uh, Colombian Urin. <laughs> Represent. Um, no, no, it's okay. okay. So, um, let's see. So, Diana Marcela is like, Many, many of students that I've had the pleasure of working with, that I've had the, um, the, just the joy of accompanying through, you know, in, in just a small path, um, a, a small part of their path. Uh, she is one of the many, many people that I really, really respect that I've gotten to know 
uh, when I was a teacher. Uh, and, you know, I've kept in touch with as many of them as I can. Uh, and I'm always following the people that I, you know, super, super enjoy. And whenever I can, and it's not, I mean, it has to do with timing and it has to do with, you know, that maybe a piece just moves me. But whenever I can, I just write to them and I'm like, oh, I want that piece. And I actually love this one. You know, I'm happy that I can start with this because I think she's super, super talented, like uber talented. Um, uh, and I'm super happy that I was able to get this from her. This is like, I don't know. I, I don't know why it moves me that much, but I just love it. I love the pose on this character. I even when love I, the interior when I or saw whatever it, it is. It uh, rem remind me of Ruprecht. Ruprecht. Yeah. yeah. It's, there's a ton of like RVK DNA in yeah. there. But there's also like a, just like a wonkiness or like just yes. this this uh, roughness to it that makes it so, so good. Yeah. So I really, really like this You piece. can pass me the things. Yes. Uh, you show so I can put them. Okay. I'm going to try to organize. Oh, but this is... Do you know if we have more yes. of these? Cause, so wait for me. One yeah. second. No, I'm good. So I'm going to be... You're going to be seeing me moving around. So you can appreciate the behind the scenes from, yeah. <laughs> from uh, we trying to share our things because I don't want them to get wrinkled or like folded or something. So I'm going to organize them in a box right here. So yes, I will pass you more of the coasters. Yes. I have, I have them right here. Okay, cool. So this is Angela, Angela Sung. She's amazing. And I absolutely adore her coasters. Um, so, well, I'm probably not going to... It's going to be a mess if I start taking them out. Yeah, you can uh, show them inside the... Because we yeah. also have a lot of things that we have to show inside um, the little plastic packs. box. Yeah. yeah, the plastic bag, I'm sorry. Because they are kind of fragile. Not some of them, ones, some of them. But, but we do have some. Yeah, but we have like so much stuff already packed that it's, it's a little bit easier. So this is Angela's work. She's incredible incredible i've i've for the longest time i've just looked up to her i think she's an amazing painter an amazing professional um she works in the animation industry yeah and um she works very hard just very 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 hard so amazing and i love these little formats mm -hmm. uh just the color is you know better than anything that i'll ever be able to do in, in, with color so, um, I just, you know, when I look at her, I look at all the things that I'm never going to be able to do because I don't know how to paint color this way. So, yeah. pretty amazing. So, saying, we have these. Liet was saying, Angela is fantastic. Oh, she's amazing. Yes. This one is one of the last ones that I think we got. It's awesome because she's been uh, fishing. So, it's just her fishing rod, like uh, on the side of the uh, boat, I guess. Oh, amazing uh, and these two little ones also yes tell me if uh, danny tell me if i'm showing them properly oh they okay? are perfectly there. okay yeah if you maybe have them where we can see it see oh you'll them, tell me you'll I let me tell know. you yeah yeah so we have a lot of these but i think it's a super cool format yes i always wish i had like a cab she does like amazing um cuban cars or cuban you know old those old cars um old Cadillacs or old uh, Chevys. Um, uh, but I haven't, you know, been able to get one of those from her. But th that, this is our Angela pack. So mm -hmm. that's that's really, really cool. So we have here two different artists. Yeah. One that we're going to ask your help with. Yeah, this is, but this is Lorena. Yeah. Lorena, let me see, Lanis. That's, that's how I, sh yeah, I think Lorena Lanis like a small watercolor that's super, super nice. Super, super nice. Beautiful. And I love this watercolor. And this is where I'm, you know, I'm beginning to feel ashamed. Because I love it. And, if, you know, when I saw it, I was like, oh, you know, I want that watercolor. I think it's amazing. Yeah, we both love it. Yeah. So. But I forget. <laughs> I forgot the artist's name. And I feel horrible. I feel terrible. So, if anyone can help me out, that would be it's amazing. Like a, oh, it's, it's real. Oh, and that's uh, yeah. Marcella. This is Diana. Yeah, oh, yeah. Diana. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, Diana Marcella. Yeah. Yeah, but 
Does so, she go by Diana? I, I used to call her Diana Marcela. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. And mm-hmm. I got some clues, but. P-O-B or O-B? No, L-G-B, L-O-B? maybe L-G-M. I forgot. I feel horrible. Like these are one of, these are some of the things that I wasn't going to hide it. I mean, I wasn't going to be like, oh, let's not show it. I much rather show it and, and, you know, then struggle to find their name and then never forget. But um, yeah, because I, I think it's just tremendous, beautiful, absolutely beautiful watercolor. Yes. Both of them. Both of these are just gorgeous. So uh, we can continue with. Uh, oh, yeah. you have one over there. Yeah, but we can keep. Um, okay. So I'm going to pass you one of. It was the first artist I bought something for you. Oh, that she's artist. amazing. Yes, it's Cactus Wax. Yeah. So Lindsay McMean. Yeah, these are and gorgeous. Yeah, we have uh, those two, which I really wanted them. I yeah. just saw them and they are amazing. But I think oh, we beautiful. have maybe four or five things. Yeah, we have a larger my, drawing my sister also. Has, my sister has a bike. Yeah, the bike. Yeah. And we have a claw. Yeah. And yeah. the claw was, she was very nice to gift me the claw. Yeah, these, she these are amazing. She said a gift. Yeah, she is a beast of a drawing. Oh my God. And she that pair, I mean, I imagine those like framed exactly and just one side by side. Yeah. They are just breathtaking. All of this is just... Oh, re- this... re- Ricard was saying the artist's name was Robert O'Brien. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so I much, I knew it. Ricard. I knew it. I knew. I was like, I'd much rather share and then say, please, somebody help me out. Yeah, because our brain was like Oh, I was, I was dying here. Oh, you're so kind. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, much Ricard. Ricard? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Apologies to Robert, because that's on me. It's a hundred percent on me. Like I should be, you know, um, I'm gonna write with a sharpie behind that uh, watercolor. I'm not. <laughs> and then you're gonna ruin I it. I am yeah. not. I'm not. Yeah. No, but I mean, I have to say that no. I even forgot the name of people. I really. I mean, I can say like they are my favorite artist, and then I have just like a brain fart. Yeah. And the name is gone. Yeah. Just when I need it. And then I'm going to go like to bed at night and I'm like, oh my God, that was the name. So yeah. I think that's, that's what, like what probably would happen with that, with the artist. You, you know what, you know what I'm noticing? Because I, I, I just, um, I went into his profile that he doesn't post that much on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And sadly, one of the tools that we depend on just to keep in contact or yes. just to, you know, have that fresh in our mind is Instagram because that is the tool that that is where we got to know a bunch of these artists. I even said Cactus before I said Lindsay McMean because, I mean, that's how we rely on Instagram. Yeah. I knew her work thanks to Instagram. Yeah. So I remember writing to her and saying, hey, Cactus. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that's just how it works. And she's super nice. Super, super, super nice. But oh, thank you. So yes, Robert control. O'Brien. Yeah. He has a shop in his webpage. Mm-hmm. Let me see if it's still um no, a lot of stuff sold out. So, well, no, no. So some things are available. So if you like that watercolor, I think it's priced very, you know, it's around our range. So 200 pounds, 250 bucks. Um so if you want to check it out, I think it's beautiful. That little watercolor is absolutely beautiful. Yes. So, so what, else, what, what else have we got here? So how oh. did you get to know this? Oh, but do you have her name now? I, yes. L- uh, Gila Epstein? No, uh, no, 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 no. No, this is, I'm sorry. Nope. Uh, this is... Oh, oh, no, Gila is the one of the road. Oh, the painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The, so, la- the, the large painting. I'm sorry. Uh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Lynn, um, oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to have to look on my uh, PayPal. <laughs> I thought we had that. Yeah, I thought we had it. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Mm. Don't worry. It'll take me a second or five minutes. But um, I saw this on uh, Emil Robinson. We were talking about uh, their name just 
before we even... yeah 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 but it's a it's a tough name to uh remember so mm -hmm. like trust me uh let me see money out apply filters oh no elena elena chedvrikova oh Chedvrikova. Okay. there sorry. we go yeah. thank you Ooh. yeah i'm okay. sorry i'm sorry frying our brains here yeah so she's a, a ukrainian artist yeah and um and you know how I remembered? Because I uh, had to type her um, last name. Yeah. As I would pronunciate the name. Pronounce, yeah. Yeah, pronounce that Or name. pronunciate, that's or fine. Or pronunciate. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, oh, I can go to my notes and I can see because I forgot uh, their last name, but yeah. Um. So, as I was saying, she... Um, I saw Emil J... Uh, uh, Emil Robinson, Emil J. Robinson, um, uh, post this particular one in his stories, and I absolutely adored it. I mean, yes. I saw it and I was like, "Oh my god!" It kind of reminded me of like uh, Victor Hugo's um, washes, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, this is so simple, so beautiful." And I did what we, you know, both Danny and I do, which is um, contact the artist through Instagram. And just ask them if something, if, you know, whatever, you know, grabs our our attention, grabs our eye is available. And if it is av available, um, how much it costs. And if that is, you know, something that we can afford, then perfect. Her webpage is super easy. It's Elena. It's like Elinart. So e -L -L -I -N -A -R -T dot com. So Elinart, because her name is Elena. So just put RT at the end. And her full name, like Danny was saying, it's Elina Chedverikova. So, Chedverikova, yeah. Yeah. So I I think this is beautiful. So simple, but beautiful. Ah, it, it killed me. Like when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is so good. And both Danny and I really, really like Emil J. Robinson. Yes. And uh, we kind of share like a, a sensibility. So very grateful when other artists with share. their own sensibility share other artists' work yeah. so that it can, you know, reach other people. But yes. this is simple but beautiful. Yes. So this one is from a fellow Colombian. Oh, uh, Greñas. And yeah. we have like the etching. Can, do you want me to um, bring it? No, it's okay. Like okay. we have the etching. No, you have to There's put it. There's actually an etching also. Pero ponla um, más arriba, por favor. Yeah. So he drew Juan Ruiz. Yeah. Which is very, very nice. Like a super, super sensitive drawing. I don't know if it, that picks up. It, it does. Perfectly, but Greñas yeah. is a really, really good, yeah. good drafts person. I really, really like that. And we have this other drawing. Yes. Of uh, Tede Coca. Yeah. We should, we should, always, we should just give Instagram names. Yeah. Uh, she was also like a, a former student of mine. Mm -hmm. Um. She's super talented too. I, I I actually really like the way she draws. He mm -hmm. drew her, so uh, it's Grenas Dibujante. You could search for yeah, him so like G -R -E -N -A -S 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 that. G R E N A S D I B U J A N T E. Yeah, that's his work. <laughs> uh huh. And she is Tede Coca. Yeah. So T E D E C O C A. Mm -hmm. So that's that a good easier. way. Yeah. It's a good way of... You had the easier to spell out. Well, there's no easy or hard. Well. Yeah. It's just l letters. Mm -hmm. So, Greñas, thank, thank you. you. That's super, super, super cool uh, little drawing. Mm -hmm. Nice little pack uh, here. Nos, que, eh, nos gusta mucho Greñas. Queremos mm -hmm. mucho. Mm, so. Oh, very nice. Oh, I'm going to... Uh, maybe butcher Anand's uh, last name. So let me see if I can make if I can do a good job at. Um... Un poquito más arriba toca. Okay. No tanto. Ahí. No más arriba. Un poquito más. Ahí. Acuérdate que esta línea te dice dónde. Okay. So we're so like this that. line we're good. exactly. Yeah, we're good there. Yes. Great. So this is Anand Radhakrishnan. Radhakrishnan. Mm -hmm. I think I was I did somewhat well. Anand Radhakrishnan. He is awesome. He's mm -hmm. absolutely awesome. He does um graphic novels. 
And this is just a, a page from one of his graphic novels that's like super, super cool. It's about the same size. A lot of artists nowadays work on, on the same size that it's going to be printed. Uh, I love it. Uh, I don't buy, I don't really buy a ton of um, comic book art. Honestly, I have this and like th two pages of Jean-Paul Leon and that's about it. And mostly because it's expensive. I think comic book art is, you know, un unless you want like pages that are just like very barren and that's very little going on, which usually sell for about, you know, two, three, four hundred bucks. Um, but, uh, but it, you know, if you probably like an artist a lot, you, you can find art from them, but it's probably expensive. And that's what makes it a little, you know, beyond our reach. But, um, if I was going to have art from anyone was going to be John Paul Leon. And when I saw that they were selling some of Anand's work, I was like, oh, this is so, so good. So... Yeah, he's. I think he's incredible. He's one of the best drafts people that you're going to find on Instagram, I feel. And if you like graphic novels, comic books, Anand's work is uh, it's incredible. So his Instagram is Anne, so, guion al piso, como se dice? Dash? Yeah. yeah, like underscore, I'm sorry. Anne okay. underscore Anand DRK. So Anne underscore Anand DRK. So an 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 dark, <laughs> an 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 dark, um, but it's Anand Radhakrishnan. So he's incredible. Total respect, dude. That's it's really really amazing. Oh, uh, this these are uh, Matthias. Yeah. Th these are Matthias Notzold. Not yeah. Yeah, Matthias Notzold. So I think this is Sophie. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Sophie. Is it Sophie? I think so. It's when he did of uh, Sophie's room, and um, no, 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 no. This is a uh, social prawn. Uh, so let me see. Is it? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, I think this is social prawn, which you should check her out. Uh, but the artist, there. Th this is social prawn in her room, I think. But the artist is Matthias. Matthias not sold, mm -hmm. and um, it's gorgeous. This is this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the composition. Loved everything about it. Just the sharpness, the shapes. Ugh, gorgeous. And this is another one of Matthias. Not sure who the person is, but I just it's, I adored it. Yeah, oh. I love that. Oh, one. so good. Oh, uh, Lovisa was saying it's Emilia, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lo Lovi is here? Yeah. We oh, do have ooh, something. Maybe we have something of Lovi uh, coming <laughs> yeah. up. So that's awesome. So these uh, two, these two from Matthias are absolutely amazing. Yeah. So. so we do have another former Colombian artist. Uh, well, not former Colombian. She's still Colombian. Como si? A former student. Former student. Yeah. Como no, si is former. What's former then? Former is that you were once. Okay. So a Colombian friend. Yeah. Former student Luisita, of mine. Luis Abel Very Plan. good friend of ours. Yeah. Um, Colombian also. She Right now she's in Canada. We have a couple of pieces of Luisita. One of her uh, nephew. Arriba. One of her nephew. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Very nice. Luisita is just, just one of the most talented painters I've ever, ever met. Emily Painting Elk Keenan was saying, those are great. Do you know Matthias Insta? Oh, Matthias is, I think it's Matthias not sold. But the thing is how to, um, oh, M dot N-O-E-T-Z-O-L-D-T. -T. So M dot N-O-E-T-Z-O-L-D-T. -E M not sold. <laughs> That was kind of complicated, but... Oh, and Matthias is probably... I mean, he's probably going to die a little bit when he listens to uh, how I pronounce his name. But he has a big cartel um, store, so let's check it out. He has some things on sale that look pretty cool. Very cool. So, uh, oh, that cornbread was so good. No, but they're not seeing what you're seeing. I know, seeing, so. I know. But he's he's got a couple of things on sale. 
if you want to if you want to get something from his so mm, si quieres mira hacia acá yeah. para que veas la línea que te digo esta okay okay i'll get it wrong like a okay. thousand times yeah because yeah. it's a little bit lower yeah it's okay okay i'll get it wrong it's fine <laughs> so and this is luisita and Luisa Beltran again, yeah. Yeah, and from what I remember, Vince was saying, Vincent Moss was saying that this is the view from their house because they were, Luisita was either visiting or she was staying with them. I forget. I forget the exact I think uh, you told reason. me she was staying. But I forget. Okay. I, I don't want but, to, yeah. maybe I misremember or, or um, but this is glorious. Hmm. That It's absolutely glorious. Like, what a painter. It's ridiculous. And by the way, we met um, Botani and I met Vince yeah. when we were in um, Menorca. In Menorca, first, first time, time. So yeah. six years ago. Yep. Uh, we don't care much for the Welsh, but we met him and we love him. I'm kidding. Yeah, you're talking I about am yours, kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Um, but we met him and we love him. So this connects us always with Luisita, which we absolutely love. She's always with us in our hearts. And it connects us with it connects us with Vince, who yeah. was just the kindest person, one of the kindest people that we've met. So, yeah. very very nice. Luisita is just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna pass you an oldie but a goldie, oldie but a goodie. I oldie think but, it's but a good, goodie. Yeah. But goldie, I think. Ah, uh, goldie. Even... Yeah, oldie but a goldie. That's yeah. Danny's uh, new we way have of saying it. Two in one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was yeah. talking about your uh, Mignola. Yeah. Oh, but well, first we'll Elisa, go with Elisa yeah. Ivanova. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Very yeah. nice drawing. Elisa is like, you know... Maybe what, a little bit higher. What do you say? What Thank can you. you say about her? She's just incredible. Talent, I mean. She is amazing. She's just pure drawing. Yeah. Just incredible. And, and big thanks to my brother, by the way. If it wasn't for my brother, uh, we couldn't get this drawing. And uh, don't, mind, don't mind the Hellboy. Just... For Nicolas, so... From Mignola, so. Yeah, and I tried to write this in my best Mignola handwriting, just so it would look like he was actually... Bad uh, joke. Yeah, no, no, no. No, this no, was... Uh, actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is amazing. And again, both of these, thanks to um, to my brother, because I think this got to my brother's house also, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. But this is our mic. Uh, he's, he's incredible. I, I, you know one of the people that I look up to most in, in my kind of art world. And he's just amazing. So we have a little Hellboy here. Mm. So now we have Camilo. Camilo. Yeah. Camilos, let's call Camilos. them. Camilos. Let's call them. So this is Camilo Carreño. Yeah. A very, very good friend. He's also very happy with um, with the uh, with our new president. I can tell you that. Um, this is Camilo's drawing, which is just absolutely incredible. He did a drawing of you. Yeah, so this this would be me. This would be a very. Maybe someone's new. That's how uh, the voice you're listening mm, to. Yeah, a little like. generous here with the hair. I would say well, it was some time ago. Yeah, you had your long hair. Uh. The jaw is now softer, I would say. I'd say a little bit. I'm I a little bit older, that. so I'm a little softer. No. Yeah, a little no, soft. No, you do have a short, little uh, sharp. A little marshmallowy jaw. here and there. <laughs> and um, and he did this gorgeous drawing of Camilo. So this is our Camilo's envelope. Yeah. Uh, Camilo's so, also a, a great friend of ours. Yeah. So and Camilo Carreño drawing Camilo Monroy. Yeah. So, so our Camilo's. Mm -hmm. Um, I love this drawing. Absolutely love this drawing. I love Camilo's cabello. <laughs> over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's us. It's uh, it's the baldies. Yeah. Uh, the hair bundle. Yeah, that? yeah. The non-hair bundle. <laughs> uh, the four non-balds. Uh, no. no, that was terrible. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not sure. I have to ask Camilo what this is. Um, I don't know if it's something. It, I don't know if it's a song, maybe. Lyrics from a, a, a song. Maybe. Oh, so I'm going to uh, answer to Rebecca Caridad, who was yeah. asking, how do you spell Luisita's full name? So oh, Luisa Beltran. Beltran. Yeah. I'm going to type it for you. Yeah, she's incredible. Yeah. Um, do you have any question about the names we Oh, are... please. We'll do our best job to yes. try and... Yes, because it's super hard <sighs> to... So gorgeous. 
to be like typing the username as we are doing this. Yeah. But we're trying our best to yeah. say like the full name so you can uh, look them up if you enjoy their work as we do. Yeah. But this, this is gorgeous yeah. drawing. It's just absolutely gorgeous yeah. from Camilo. It's incredible. That, Love this drawing. No, and that forehead shine. Oh, it's like th oh, this? Yeah, that's yeah. like my favorite And there's like thing. this tiny little like bridge of the nose. Yeah. Like going on a diagonal there that is just so good. Camilo's just... Camilo's a very sensitive, like, human being, like, sensitive soul. And with that, when that comes across in his drawing, it's, like, oh, super beautiful. Not, yeah, I have to ask him about this. So I don't know if it's, um, well, I'm sure if we type it, if it's a song, we, we can know immediately. I don't know that song, so maybe that's, I'm being super ignorant. Or if it's a poem or something like that. But Or maybe it's his. So, but I, I really like this. I know he's... He's super into music, so maybe it's lyrics. So, we have... Yeah? Another friend of ours. Okay, yeah, everyone's a friend, friend of, of ours. A uh, dear friend of ours, Leech. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, the famous is, Leech. Yeah, we love when this happens, like Camilo drawing Camilo. And this is Nicolás painting uh, Alejandrita, Alejita. So Please both, another of, yeah, both of them are people that we love and care for, you know, tremendously. Yes. So uh, this is an extraordinary portrait of her, I feel. Yes. It's like an amazing, amazing portrait of her. Yes, it is. So we're super, super happy to have both our friends present yes. in a single piece. So this so, is very beautiful. And Leech, we showed you the other painting, the one that we got from yeah, Leech. Yeah, some days ago. Um, a couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's under... Those, mm. if you want to, maybe not. No. Well, no, give me a sec. Yeah, just to show, just to remind them of who Leech is. And he's again, the friend who uh, introduced, us. introduced us. So, so. It's, it's very important yeah. in our uh, history. Yeah. I think it's under these, maybe? Yeah, I think so, maybe. Yeah. Oh, and we could, and we could show it in us also. So leeches is uh, bigger than the space that we have right now yeah. for this, but this is also Nicolas's work, leech. It's very beautiful. I we love love this painting. I think it's a tremendous painting. He's he's killer. His signature. I don't know if you could see it. A little something to be desired with the signature, Nicolas. So that's terrible. Um, but but so so these two are from Nicolas. If you like these paintings, please write to him. Uh, and, I'm sorry, I'm in oh. Nicolas Mike. Uh, okay, that's a little his, too close, Dan. <laughs> his uh, Instagram is Kuro Lich with a K. Yeah. If you want to see it. So K U R O L L G Danny. Uh, K U R O L I C H T. So that's uh, Nicolas. Amazing. And Elena, you? thank you, Daniel Lira. Yeah. This is, um, we showed this the other uh, time. And um, again, you know, this uh, got uh, some paper stuck to it when it was delivered. Not Elena's fault. Elena is just one of the best, coolest people ever. So not her fault. Um, we're going to blame it on shipping. But uh, nothing that can't be solved. So we are super happy to get rid of those little bits of paper that had stuck on the painting, uh, revarnish the painting, put some wax so it wasn't like, because it's such a small piece, if you varnish it, uh, it just becomes super, super glossy. So nice wax varnish after that. And now look at this. It's just amazing. Gitanita. That's incredible. And Elena does sign her work. Look at that. Gorgeous. Tiny. So, so yeah, tiny, tiny. Her work yeah. also amazing. So yes. please check her out, Elena Burcio. Yeah, please check her out. Okay, who uh, who do we have so, here? This oh, it's like well, handle with care. Yeah, I like these pieces. I don't know if I like the the artist behind them. Joke, you're joking. No, not really. I mean, this is Wilby. So I don't know if I could say anything that's kind of cool about Wilby, but. Um, 
people I'll try. I can lie. I can lie. So now this is Wilbo. This will be. He just um, he just printed a book on his drawings, a little booklet on his drawings that uh, uh, we also got. So we're super happy to um, to also get that uh, yeah. book whenever it's uh, ready. This is gorgeous. The shapes are yeah, just oh my god! You're drawing. killing me. Like, yeah. yeah. Wilbo draws like, I mean, he paints. He can paint like a beast, also. But, but there's something about his drawings that is just like, oh my god, yeah. I want to die. So, we have this one of his, but we also because we love Camilo so much, we have Camilo by so, Wilby. Yeah. yeah, by Wilby. So we have a couple of Wilbys. Uh, gorgeous Camilo. And like we said, uh, it's nice to have an artist that you respect painting somebody that you also care for. Yes. So it's uh, super, super cool. But yeah, uh, check Wilby's work also. Um, I think he's got a shop also. And um, if not, if you don't see a shop, write to, the, write to the people and the people that you admire and just tell them, hey, I would love to own something of yours. Do you have anything available? And, um, you know, chances are that we all have stuff available. So, you know, you know, you know, oh, do you, do you know which would be cool? Do, do, uh, the Dallas um, Raven? Whoa. Yeah, but I don't know. Is it somewhere in there? OK, yeah. I just wanted to show I have it like after. A pile. No, it's OK. I so, just wanted. I just yeah. thought it would be cool to show it's it after. It's easier to do it like this. I'm sorry. After will be. I'm sorry. Yeah, will be, you know, that it was will be Wilby's later. Fault. Did you got oh, my... Oh, God. These are Katie's. So the first one I got from Katie's was just a marker drawing, which I really, really like. The first one we got. We oh, yeah. Got, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Yeah. So, so the first let me... one I got. Yeah. No, I'm joking. No, 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 no. First one we got. Yeah, no, yeah. no. No, the only times that I should be saying I is when I'm getting something for Danny. That mm -hmm. that's like super specific that we buy something for each other. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, I even think, I mean, you got me uh fernando rosa's sculpture yeah. but i do think it's our sculpture it's like you oh yeah say i'll, I'll take our. that yeah. yeah yeah but you got me the benjamin bjorkland and i think that's my painting no it's ours no <laughs> no no. i'm sorry i'm sorry but you're you're mistaken there no. I, you gave it to me well yeah no if you, you want i to think be i took yours, a video but i would share it uh i would share my things with you so you can have sculpture. benjamin's uh stretchers and I'll take the painting. <laughs> so it's 50 50. Thank you. No, we're both kidding. So I am yeah. sorry. I'm so no, no, apologize no, I'm just, if I'm, I'm saying just joking. I. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I really do apologize because this is always us. This is always about us getting, you know, getting to have the opportunity and, and have fun when saying, oh, we should buy something of hers and we should buy something of his. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. We should buy something of them, um, of theirs. Uh, and it, it is, it's always us. Trust me. Like, Whatever, whenever we get somebody supporting us and they pay something, it is our pool of money. We we always understand that as 50 percent uh, Danny, fifty percent me. Like it has always been like that from the beginning. It'll always be like that. So whenever we get something, it's we get something. Mm -hmm. um, no, but I didn't want you to like to. No, feel no, no, bad no, no. You know that. No, no, no. You know that. We, we. Too. It's, it's, it's one of those things that I'm always super careful about. But I'm, I thank you for, for you know, helping me catch myself. Uh, if I'm saying I, I don't like to say I when it's a we thing. So it's actually, it's, it's good. So thank you. Um, and this is a. Um, I don't really know if it's Katie has to help me if it's acrylic or gouache. Um. Maybe it's acrylic, I'm going to say. And it's from uh, Alien. And I loved it. This is one of the coolest heads I've ever seen painted. The color. Katie is so good. I think Katie's so hard on herself. But she's so damn good as a painter. And so damn good as a sculptor. Uh, so damn good, like, putting, you know, stuff together. Like, she has this... this um, also, like this the very theatrical kind of vein to it. So she's doing these dioramas that she she either sculpts or paints from. Also, but she's amazing. She's way, way, way cooler and better than she'll ever give herself credit for. So the color in here, it's incredible. Like me as a painter, uh, Danny has like a separate sensibility from from me. So I'm just gonna say me. Uh, me as a painter, I, I don't know how to paint some of these colors. Like, I don't. These are things that are wouldn't be 
um, part of my color sensibility. So I, I love to see things that I'm like, oh, I just can't understand how to do this. And the way she did her the hands with those washes. Oh, Jesus. That's so good. So Katie, you're amazing. Emily uh, painting Elk Keenan. Yeah. Saying Elena Burcio in a happy oh, uh, smiling face. And it was saying, yeah. I love the painting I bought from Katie. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Mm, Marcelo Baralta was saying, oh my, I'll be rewatching today's video for sure. Oh, that's super cool. Um, so Who else? What, what else have we got? Hmm. Oh, Jesus. This one. So this, yeah, we love this drawing. Yeah. Like really love this drawing. And she's a Russian um, artist and she's a Russian illustrator. Yeah, we got it 2020. Yeah, I think early 2020. Early, yeah. Yeah. Because it was and like some of the first Look at this drawing. Jesus yeah. Christ. I mean, it's so good. I don't know why uh, it's playing. <laughs> yeah, that was my stories, Instagram story playing. Yeah, but I don't remember her name. And, it, and she did this like Gwen John-ish cat. It's like. That it's like killing me. I don't yeah. like, like I'll come right out and say it. I'm not a cat person. I, I don't particularly like cats. No, to we're be, not. Yeah, I don't. In that you can say we. I know. And we don't. I think cats don't like me either. They know that I don't like them. But this. I would say I like them more than you do. Me, yeah, you're you're far more open to them than, than I am. But look at this drawing. I mean, look at yeah that line. It's crazy. No, no, like, hesitation. No, nothing. It's like. Come on, stop it. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. But maybe someone if can. I have like if we have Russian friends here that or or people that can understand like Cyrillic that can read this and can help us out. Um because I don't. Maybe that's cat. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, you're stretching maybe. it by trying and to and it's there's this here. I don't know either. So yeah. Well, help us out. Yeah. You guys were awesome with Tim, so maybe you can help us out with this. Chat is amazing always. Maybe we can have it here inside of this one, so it doesn't get. Yeah, because I think this charcoal is not fixed. No, it's not. That's why I was saying it's yeah. super fragile. Oh. Great. Yep. Awesome. So Always waiting, Daniel Ira. <laughs> so, this one is again a fellow Colombian oh, artist. Yeah. Who is she? Adriana Lozano. Yeah, and we, we have a. We enjoy a lot. Yeah, and we have a Rizzo print. Uh, no, no, no. It's actually a silkscreen print yeah. from her. That and we do also... have a book. Yeah, that's a couple of books, actually. Yeah. yeah, that's also absolutely beautiful from hers, but Adriana Lozano Roman. So, wait, because oh. Sam was saying fun of Francesca Woodman. No, but that's not her. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Oh. Tom oh, Jordan, she. Tom she Jordan is. was saying the cat by the Russian artist oh. reminds. I uh, know. Okay. Reminds me of, of Theo, Theophil Stainlin. Okay, it reminded me of um, of um, of Gwen John's cats, which are like probably the best cats that I've uh, that I've seen. I think drawn, if I have to be honest. But um, yeah, yeah Adriana, so Adriana Lozano Roman, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah. Her drawings are just oh my god! So she's she's super 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 talented. Yes, lovely drawing. Yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. Um, so we continue. Yeah, our our journey. Okay, Angel Ramos. Yeah, I don't know what happened to. Oh, and there's another one. There's another An Angel. Another gouache? Mm. Yeah, that one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so we got like a couple of pieces of Angel. I think he closed his Instagram. I don't know what happened. Um, he's super, super nice dude. Mm. Uh, but uh, this is Angel, Angel Ramos. So if you guys know, um, know maybe what happened, hopefully everything's fine. Or maybe he just wants to have some space. Um, but we got a couple of uh, little paintings of his. This, this little gouache. This one that ha looks to be in, I don't know what this 
paper is. Yeah, it's like a plasticky. Yeah, so it's maybe like um. Yubo. Maybe it could be like a yubo or like a stone, one of those stone papers. Emily painting elk. Keenan was saying, "Was that ugly colors?" Yeah, yeah. Angel, was that his Instagram? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Let me see. No, but I'm seeing a uh, ugly colors with a C. Yeah, I think that was his Instagram, Angel's Instagram. But um, so this is an oil painting. I feel very, very nice. And uh, little some little gouache paintings also. I I thought were super, super cool. Super, super nice. Super nice dude also. Mm, so okay, mm, how are we doing? Good. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> good. Yes. Have, always good. You have to kind of contort yourself. I can put it easier for you here. Uh, this is uh, the uh, Infinity Infinity Gauntlet by uh, Kitchen Infinity Butter. Gauntlet. Yeah. yeah. By uh, Hillary. Her name is yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So Butter High. Yeah. I think her Instagram is Butter High. With Hillary Butterworth. Yeah, she's her a very name, cool name. but yeah, butter high. So, go into uh, uh, Butter's uh, Instagram. Ask her if she has anything available. Very, very talented. She's super cool. I'm looking yeah. at a look at that little dog painting. Yeah, they are not oh, saying that. Oh my god! No, no, no. But that was for for you. Yeah, Tony. but this, was, she's so yeah, so yeah, talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's super talented. So, uh, uh, us being Marvel fans. Maybe me being a more expanded Marvel fan than Danny. Danny loves um, Doctor Strange. That's her favorite. But um, no, but you uh, inserted me in that world. Yeah. Well, that sounds <laughs> that forceful a little bit. Yeah. That sounds yeah, you, like a you proctologist. You introduced me. Okay. Yes, to that better. world. Yeah. That that the other one sounded and a little. And I'm happy inhabiting that world. Okay. Good. So. Good. Good. So, I. Never really knew what this is, but I thought it was like an infinity gauntlet. It's, for me, yeah. It is. For yeah. me, it is. It's for me, it's like, oh, this is Thanos. Like, yeah. there's no other thing. Yeah. I am sorry. Uh, those are the infinity stones. That's just, yeah, that like, is it. Homemade uh, Thanos costume. Yeah. 100%. Stop it. So I don't even know if this is like, no, this no. has to be like this. Yeah. She was super worried that this was part of it, like a sketchbook or something, and it was like bent. And I was like, dude. Like, there's nothing weird about re us receiving like a like a little weird piece of paper that is badly cut or bent. We love that sort of stuff. So, uh, this is one of Hillary's. Yeah. So next one. Um, Caroline G. I don't yeah, think we have uh, we can afford uh, one of Caroline's bigger paintings, which are awesome. And if you can afford one of her bigger paintings, please buy them because she's incredible. Uh. But we saw this little uh, sketch, this little mm -hmm. sketch on, um, I don't know what this is, like a linen paper? Yeah, like paper? a linen paper. It's yeah. probably the uh, arches paper, but it looks like it has no, threads. It, yeah. What? It do f I mean, oh, no, it it's a print. Like the thread that I see here is exactly like the one I see here. So it's actually pressed. It's a pattern that is pressed on the paper to make it look like it has threads. Mm -hmm. But wow, it's a look very at that. Interesting very interesting paper, yeah. Yeah, I just saw it. It's almost like when you clone um pattern on Photoshop. Yeah. But you so, didn't see So this one is the same right here yeah, and it's you the can same right kind here. Kind of recognize the Yeah, pattern. yeah, yeah. I'll show it to you. I'll give it back and you can yeah. see. Anyways, but this is like a little color sketch that Caroline did and when she posted this one, we were like, "Okay, but maybe we can afford the color <laughs> sketch." And we're super super happy with that. Um and she's amazing. I think you know, she paints uh, kind of like that uh, night light, like that artificial night light or those lights that are kind of, you know, blue hue. Oh, it's better than anyone. So we have something of Caroline's to remember her. Yeah. Um, we, oh, you can put it okay. there. Okay. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted up. to no, no, no. see the uh, little pattern. Oh, I could see it in a better lighting. So this one's a little controversial, I guess. We have an Alex Beck, and I, I'm going to say why it's it's probably controversial. And I'm going to be honest. I know that there's a lot of people that bought something from Alex or were trying to help Alex in some way. I 
I never met met Alex. It just exchanged emails really when we were doing Death of a Coworker. This is back in boof. 16, Danny, maybe? No, 15? earlier, I think. 15, 15 maybe. Yeah. yeah, so this was a long time ago. But um, uh, I know that Alex went through a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. It's not my place to, to talk about any of that, and I probably don't have enough information also to, uh, to talk about the, the extent of the things that he went through. All I know is that, you know, it was, it was heavy. It was a lot. And... Um, and I was always, I've always felt that as a painter, again, just as a painter, he's just one of the most talented people that I've, I've seen. Uh, as a colorist, he's bold and fearless. Uh, made me very, very sad to know that, that a lot of people felt that, um, that he wasn't responding to the uh, support that they were giving uh, him or that they were purchasing, purchasing something and um, he wasn't sending the uh, work that they had purchased. I'll be honest, I got this probably, I purchased this and I got this probably a year later and I had to you know, like be on his ass for a long time and that's not how things should be. And I'm going to be super honest here. Um, I don't know if Alex listens to any of this or, or hears any of this or watches any of this, but he knows, he knows oh, that, um, that, that this could have been easier and this could have been dealt with like a lot better. So I'm glad that in the end we were able to work it out, but it should have been something super simple. Like for us, it usually takes time because when we sell a painting, it's still fresh. So it, we have to wait for it to dry. We have to wait for permits to get here. But, but as soon as like all that's, as soon as that's figured out, it's off. Like yeah. we go to FedEx and it's off to you guys. No, and time for us means like, Always, always less than uh, three weeks. Yeah, I'm going to say two weeks. For, yeah. in, on average, in, in two weeks, we're always sending a, uh, a painting. On yeah, average. but a year is kind of... Yeah, this one, this one I had already thought it was lost. It was yeah. gone. And I was like, you know what? If he needed some help, like I'm glad I could help out. And I wrote to him saying, dude, honestly, if you needed help, that's all I, you know, all I wanted to give you. But just you, just so you know, I was expecting a painting, and I don't think it's cool that you never sent it. And um, then it arrived. Yeah, and then we got to talk a little bit. Um, he says it was a misunderstanding. I'll give him benefit of the doubt, but sadly, all, I also know that a lot of people were having trouble with him. So, as an artist, you know, from what I, and and from what from what I know, I'm trying to word, you know, my my comment very precisely but from the things that i know you know he went through some rough stuff and he has my compassion like for going through all that rough stuff um if you need help you should ask just for help and i'm sure people that will lend you a hand they will do so without expecting anything in return if you need help but when you you know if you want people to understand that they can help you by buying your artwork Come on, like, you know, you have to respond. If people are being, you know, generous and supportive, all you got to do is put this in an envelope and mail it. That's all you got to do. All you got to do. So, um, so yeah, so I, I, I respect so many of the things that he does as an artist. But, uh, yeah, this, this was a rough experience. And I totally understand why a lot of people out there feel like, um, you know, they got burnt. Because I thought, I was like, okay, this was lost. Like, this money is gone. But I'm still going to write to tell to let him know, like, hey, dude, I, it's fine if it's gone. I hope that you could use the money, but it wasn't cool. Yeah, because again, I mean, you thought you were buying it. Yeah. You were buying a painting. I That's will gladly thing. always support somebody. Yes. And if I can also get something of theirs while I'm supporting them, fantastic. Yeah, I think the problem is when you think you're buying something so yeah. you're giving that uh, money to get something in exchange and yeah. you don't yeah so it's like uh, some little i don't know there's a, somebody's phone there <laughs> and uh someone called sean it says there. yeah so but anyways um i hope he gets his uh shit together and i hope he remembers that he's an amazing artist and 
I'm sure that if he can work things out with the people that support him, you know, people are going to forgive and are going to say, dude, if you, you know, if you come back and if you just deal with things like professionally, people will gladly be there for you. So, but you know, he's, he's a, I have to say he's a fantastic painter. There you go. Oh, this is this is super super cool. I'm gonna put this. I hope people are not getting bored. No. How is everyone uh, doing right now? Yeah. So let me just ask, uh, just answer super quickly, because uh, Tom Jordan was asking. I'm curious, what do you guys mean by permit? Is that some kind of buyer or seller protection when shipping your artworks? Oh, no. So the buyer can't say it didn't arrive? So, no, uh, Tom, the thing is that the Ministry of Culture here in Colombia asks for a permit of every artwork you are shipping outside the country. Yep. So you have to enter their uh, web page and ask for a permit. And then it would arrive and you would ship the painting or sculpture or whatever it is with that permit so you can get art outside our country. Yeah, so in theory, and some people send their work without permits and that's absurd that they don't do it properly because it doesn't, first of all, it doesn't cost anything. Second, yes, the website is complicated and um, the interface is ridiculous to try to navigate, um, but you know, it is just learning how to do something and then doing it, you know, and Danny and I, well, Danny takes care of this, but Danny has done probably 500 permits for, or you know, works that have gone out. More, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it is just a bit of work, but it's oh. doing, it's about doing things right. And yeah. the thing, the, the thing you risk is that we could pack something in FedEx and we could say, oh, what's, what's in there? And we could say, oh, it's documents. But if they open it up in customs, and trust me, they open everything up in customs here in Colombia, or they open everything that comes from Colombia in other countries, trust me, trust me. Trust me. Yeah, but if they open things up here in Colombia and it doesn't have that permit, they could keep it. They could say, sorry, this doesn't meet requirements for shipping. It's lost. Like, yeah. you will never see it again. So why risk it? Yeah. Why ever risk it? And so again, it just delays maybe a week, a week or or ten days at most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten days at but most. But I think it's better to wait ten days for yes. the permit. Yes. And be sure that if they open it, you have all the permits. Yes. And it's good to go. Because we have, and we're very proud, and we have to say we're very lucky also. But we're, I think we're lucky because we do things the way they're supposed to be done. But we have a 100% shipping rate. Like yeah. we're batting a thousand. Everything, yeah, we, everything we've everything we shipped. Of our painted lives. Yep. We've, uh, we know that they arrived yeah. to their buyer. So we are super happy about that. And as you were saying, I think that we give ourselves like the best uh, chance yes. for it to happen. Yes. By doing the things as we should do them. By doing things properly. That's exactly. that's really, that's all we can do. Exactly. So when um, you were asking if people were bored, yes. just before you talk about the painting, uh, Robin was saying, amazing, Leslie Cavazos Garduño. Leslie Cavazos Garduño? Yeah. Leslie Cavazos Garduño? Was saying, nope, not bored. Oh, awesome. Catherine Kenny was saying, definitely not bored. Julia Tovar. Who is that? Uy, Julia. Oh, we have to show. Pintura tan linda. Sí. We tan, have to show Julia's linda. painting. Yeah, she we're was... gonna. That's gonna be the cherry on top. No, yeah, the belly on say, top. No, the last one, like the yeah, closing the... statement. Well, cherry on top was good, but yeah. I was gonna say the belly on top. The belly. Uh, That's the belly good. on top. Yeah, and Julia, I had to varnish your painting because, yeah, you know why, <laughs> and uh, but I think it looks you know, proper good. So Oh, we have uh Leech over here saying Leech. just passing by bye to say hi. Love you. Also hi chat. Amazing artwork. Love to see that collection. You're part of our collection. Oh, just, you're part uh, of our lives. Yeah. Part of just, our hearts. Yeah. We showed your work. Yeah, very a proud. bit uh before. So uh, um go ahead, go ahead. Oh okay. So <laughs> So uh James 
I wish well, James Haig or James Hogg. James Hogg. You guys could correct me because I, I really don't know how to pronounce this. Um, his last name. He's a British painter. He's like an amazing painter. Uh, we love this painting. We loved the the possibility of having something of his was just, you know, we couldn't pass on it. Uh, this particular painting is just just a, the uh, design of this portrait, the colors. It it also feels don't you don't you think it feels very like South American even yes. like very very us I feel yes. Yes, it feels yes, like yes. a modern South American Latin American painting yes. I feel like very if you would have told me this is like I don't know maybe 70 80 years old 70 years old I would say like and it was like um I don't know Cuban or I don't know No it even reminds me of uh, the Colombian artist Emma Reyes. Oh, okay. We have. I yeah. mean, it has a tint of a little bit, like, a little bit. It she, looks well, similar. She also has like a European because she she was yes, she lived it, there, but but she does have like this quality. I yeah. don't know how to describe it, but it's, it feels like yeah. very Latin American, like very, much very so. exactly. So and yes, uh, I, I mean, we're not talking about Emma Reyes, but if you want to read a very good book, yes. there is a book. That's called Letters from Emma Reyes, maybe. I don't know if it's translated to English, so. May oh mm. no! Yeah, maybe I don't it's think not. so. No. Let me check check it out because yeah. it's uh, about her life and it's very yeah. very interesting. Yeah, you started it and I I, I started gave, it I and it you finished you. it. I gave yeah. it to you, yeah. And I started it and you finished the book. <laughs> you actually finished the book. Yeah. But and it I was really, um. Oh yeah. It says, no, but this one's the book of Emma Regis, a memoir. Oh, okay, no. So, no, because it's Maybe tomorrow all the we letters. Can, we'll, we'll, have that, uh, we'll have that for you, that info for you tomorrow, yeah. if you want. Yeah, so, go ahead. Um, no, so, uh, I'm going to say James Haig. So, and I, I really apologize if I'm getting um, my pronunciation wrong. But, uh, yeah, amazing, amazing portrait artist, like, incredible portraits absolutely incredible so just having anything of his is um is incredible we we thought we could get some hands some of his hands i think are some of the most beautiful hands i've ever seen painted but uh we were late for those but we we're very happy with this yeah. one as you know honestly at some point it becomes not about to, like getting the favorite painting of somebody that you respect but having something of theirs that you remember yeah. them by, and that's super, super cool. Julian Rodriguez dice Brasilero. No es cierto, también podría ser Brasilero. Sí, muy cierto. Mm, Julia Tovar. Muy, muy cierto. Uh, Robin was saying, yes, his hands. Oof. Oh, yeah. Those. I was always, because I wake up earlier than Danny. So when, <laughs> if anyone of the two of us is going to have a chance of buying something quicker, it's always going to be me. Well, but if it's in Europe. Maybe well, but, uh, no, I but it, can go to bed later. Well, yes, so. yeah. Well, Danny always, that's true. You got me beat in the uh, going to bed time and I got you beat in the uh, waking up. Yeah. But now we're always late. We were always just a little bit late. <laughs> so it's a dose from our own medicine when people write to us like, oh, we wanted that painting of yours and I was like two seconds late. Why? Like we feel, we feel that too with stuff that we really, really like and we try to buy. And it's like, ah, oh, gone. But, you know, again, I I don't I think we share this with Danny. Like when when Danny wanted to get something of Benjamin's, mm -hmm. um, honestly, it could have been anything from Benjamin. And it would have meant the world for us if it was anything. Anything. I I I've never seen anything from Benjamin, Benjamin Bjorkland, that doesn't move me. Yeah. So anything that we could have gotten from him would have been perfect. Yes. And do we have in our minds like paintings that are our favorite of his? Sure. But at some point you go like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Like at, at some point it's just, I don't know. I guess it's more about the the wholeness of the artist rather than the particular piece. Yeah. But and, I have to say that the one we Oh, have, the one we got, we lucked out. Like, it's exquisite. very good. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah, I love it. But if you would have sent like this weird sketch of like a rabbit. Yeah. I would have been like, that is the coolest rabbit I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to love this rabbit yeah, forever. I, I remember when I contacted him and he was like, what are you looking for? And I was like, whatever you. <laughs> yeah. He was like, no, but 
like watercolor painting and I was like whatever you have I mean it's really whatever you have I just want Nicolas to have something of yours so amazing Daniel Ira yes that's one of our best um acquisitions yeah your stretchers our. remember <laughs> your stretchers well I wouldn't say that's uh the best stretcher if that's my oh, part I know. of the painting <laughs> I know yeah I'm the, losing the, those stretchers are uh yeah yeah, so oh, we this have is my buddy, yeah, and, Dan Zalkas. Yeah, Dan. so I'm gonna give it like this because I think it's easier. Yeah, Dan to open is it probably right one of my very first friends um, when I went to school, when I went to SVA. So when uh, I think we met super quickly uh, because we both like comic books. That was just it. Uh, and uh, he was do he was a cartooning major. I was a cartooning major. You can only see a part of it. Oh, sorry. That's I'm so going to I'm going to do this. Just yeah. Yeah. Intera interactive um, yeah. painting show. Okay, but I think it showcases his drawing ability like crazy. Yeah, Dan is one of the most, you know, committed drafts people I've ever met. Um he connected with Jack Potter, with John Ruggeri. Uh he absolutely adored location drawing. He is an illustrator. He does editorial stuff uh, now. He's super, super, super talented. And I think he, he shines when he has to do um, urban landscape stuff, uh, interior stuff. He's, he's really remarkable. His line weight is just exquisite, exquisite. I never understood line weight, never. Um, Dan understood it and picked it up, you know, like nothing. I struggled with it my whole life. I still do. Um, yeah, but, but he, he followed, um, you know, lovingly, uh, Jack Potter and, and John Ruggeri and he, he really, really learned from them and he's incredible. He's incredible. He's a very good friend. I haven't seen Dan in a long time, but you know, Dan is my friend. Like I know that years will go by and it doesn't matter. Like we went to school together. We spent tons of, you know, tons of time together. So always, always cared for Dan always always kicked myself because i had nothing of his and it's like pulling teeth to have like a drawing of his to, to for him to sell me a drawing of his and uh, but I, you know at some point i i got him to like okay send me a couple and um he sent me some of these and and i was like okay i li i want this one dan like this is perfect you, you know that's it uh, so again it's one of those things that um Yes, it's about the drawing, which I find gorgeous. I mean, it speaks about very much like um, that a moment of, of drawing, I feel. I feel this is very late 50s, 60s drawing um, because it is something that is inherited, you know, through Jack Potter, who was, you know, this, this old illustrator who was like a huge, huge illustrator, huge a-hole also. But as an artist, you know, what can you say? He was tremendous. Um, uh, I know, I know Dan eventually connected a ton with John Ruggeri, which I sat on a few of his classes and then I took one of his classes and John is one of the most incredible teachers, artists that I've ever seen in my life. Like there's no way that I'll ever meet anyone like, uh, John it's, you know, from the little that I met him cause, cause, um, Dan had a, a very, very extended relationship with him. But from the little that I, I, I took John and from what I, you know, those probably that probably year that I could listen to him, it's one of the most valuable experiences that I've had in my life. And he is, it doesn't matter the definition of drawing that you hold. He is one of the most talented people I've ever seen draw. And I think I'll die and I, I that'll remain true. There's something about John that is not present in many, many other people you know, drawings that you'll see in your life. And if you get to see him draw, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's almost like this person was meant to draw, for, you know, from when they were born and they answered to that calling and it's perfect. Um, so Dan was able to understand Jack's influence, John's influence, and then, you know, filter it through his life, his experiences. And, and um, it made me super happy when he, he made that connection with that drawing and I love to have something of Dan to to remind me of him. So again, it is yes about the drawing, but a thousand times more about the person. So 
So we have this. Okay, so Mar I... Margarita Prendida. Oh, Margarita, yeah. yeah. You know that Margarita is like, I need to, I need to um, buy one of her like toys, one oh, of her they sculptures. Are. Yeah, I need to. But the thing is that everything I adore everything them. she does. I yeah, mean, it's she uploads something and we're like, oh. Yeah, it's but it, and they are a little pricey. That's the thing that mm -hmm. they are actually like, like buying a statue. Of yeah, mine. I mean, they are worth every penny. A every single penny. But again, penny. it's a little bit out of our budget. Yeah, so I feel it would be a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, I always bought. feel so, just so you guys know, like I always buy like a lot like I'm not saying a lot, although it is a lot, but I, a lot of, um, of f figures like two or three or like a statue um, when I can, when, for example, if I did a workshop and I have some extra income, that's when I feel I can be respond like irresponsible maybe and, and get that. But in our regular days, we're, we're always like, okay, we got, let's say 300 bucks in, let's spend a um, hundred. Or we got uh, in this week a thousand in. Let's spend five hundred on this piece. Um, so we we're always thinking like that. And again, you know, it's it is very hard because sometimes we are very romantic about it and we spend a bit more than we should. And other times we are responsible. Um, I hope that with my figures, I've been responsible. But again, it's it, they have been the product of working super hard at yeah. doing uh, workshops. So I feel okay with that. And also the fuel to yeah. continue working. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. There's nothing in, like, my body is re-energized every time I see my figures and, like, my toys and my, my statues are, they're amazing. Um, with her, I wish I could buy everything of hers. Like, there's something that I'm, every time I look at what she does, I... I want everything. I yeah. want absolutely everything. She does an animation. I love it. She does a sculpture for stop motion. I love it. She does a little drawing. I love it. Yeah. It's crazy. But they are a little bit, you know, I think she, they she discounted them eventually, but they are a little pricey. And I'm like, and every time I've been like, okay, I should do this because, you know, they're in euros. So that's going to be a little more expensive for us. And then it's shipping here. And you guys don't really know this, but we shipped usually to a PO box in the US, but then to get it to to us, we have to pay also taxes. Yeah. So, you know, there's always like an extra amount of money that has to be added for those taxes every single time, every single time. So it's always like, you know, for example, if this, if, if something of hers is, let's say 600 pounds or 600, um, I'm sorry, 600 euros, um, think of it like, when put here, it's probably going to be 700 euros, so 750. Yeah, even you know, a little bit more. 750. So if you add up things that we have to buy, we have to pay for. So it's always like, ugh. but you know, that's just life. You, you can't just buy every single thing you like. But I know, I don't know why, but I know that I'm going to feel weird if I never get one of her figures. Like, no, we're I don't do it. I mean, yeah. that's why we were saying. We haven't got them yet. Yeah, let's There's say There's a lot yet. of art. Hopefully... We haven't got yet. Yeah, life gives us the, uh, the time and, and the, the ability to, um, to buy, you know, and support every single artist that, that we can. Um, this one, can you help me out? Because this one, I think I have a tab open on... Yes, wait, wait, wait. But I, I love this <laughs> So it's um, Aaron Hill. Aaron Hill. Yeah. And, but his, let me see. Oh, the webpage, AaronHill.com. No, but his um, Instagram is uh, really different. It is. We have it here. It is Lord of the Arts. Lord of the Arts. Oh, there we go. Yeah. But so Lord underscore of underscore the yep. underscore arts there we go <laughs> so thank you danny you're welcome thank you for that you're welcome i don't know i saw you know i saw this and i was like isn't this super cool like everything's cracked like all of this has crack yeah. lure so i don't know if it's intentional or if it's just like super badly done but it's so cool it yeah. is so so damn cool yeah um and everything just a frame within a frame 
uh, you know, very, this is like a wash, then it's, you know, a, a, a very clean color, and then just this whole bit of texture. Does it read, Danny, like texture? It like cracks? Does. I mean, we have. <coughs> we have autofocus, so maybe you can put a, a little bit up. No, let it down. No, it does. It didn't. No. There, there. I think it catches a little bit more. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. No, it it does. I mean, yeah, I don't have bit. my glasses on. No, it does. It does. Okay, you said. I mean, again, no and yes, like a thousand times. There. No, like I was saying, no, it does. Oh, like, okay. It actually does. Again, it's not what you would appreciate if you see it oh from life yeah exactly. no, in real life like all of these things are incredible but you can get the texture um factor <laughs> oh it. texture factor do we have more uh Daniel Lira? we have more art yeah we have like oh my god i mean we have two chairs okay i don't know what and, that means in no, terms no, of no, volume two but, chairs okay. yeah that's my uh, is that a drawing of two chairs measuring or? um my measuring method, but we haven't finished. We have two to finish our first chair. Okay. So we're missing another whole chair. Okay. What does that mean in terms of numbers? I have five hours. I have no idea. So. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is Gila. Um, yeah. So this is Gila Epstein, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope this fits. Let's no. see. Barely. I mean. I mean, but, you could put a, a little yeah, bit but, down. But I'll show you guys, like, the bottom part is very kind of beautifully empty. Mm -hmm. So just so you guys can kind of have a sense of um, what's in the bottom. So um, we saw this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's almost like a Frederick Remington. You know, you could kind of see one of the uh, Remington's cowboys just um, galloping at night. Uh you know, going through this little town. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous night painting. Yeah, Just that, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. I mistakenly said uh, Gila some works ago. Oh, so yeah, no. no. Oh, this it's one, totally fine. This one's Gila. And I would like you to show the side of it. Yeah. Because I think it's Oh, you like the yellow? Yeah. yeah. I do. I do think. It's like a super bright yellow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Yeah. It's an amazing painting, killer painting, absolutely beautiful, like like perfect, perfect edge work, just the right amount of information in these little places, um, just perfect. I, I think, you know, it, it doesn't take a lot to do a perfect painting. I know that sounds ridiculous, right? It doesn't take a lot to do a perfect painting. The thing is, perfect painting, it doesn't have to be the best painting in the world either. When you do a perfect painting, it doesn't mean that you're better than Rembrandt. No, no, no. But it means that every choice you made when trying to solve a problem was the adequate choice, was the right choice to do. And every single choice I see in her painting, it's like spot on. Yeah. Everything's spot on. Everything is working towards trying to, you know, depict this night scene. Mm -hmm. Every single one of those. So, and everything, edge work is gorgeous. Tones are beautiful whenever she does earthier tones perfect whenever she decides to make them bluer that blue hue which i have no idea what that blue is i don't i'm not even gonna guess i mean i thought it was like prussiany at some point but it's not as green as prussian so probably not i don't even i don't really know i mean i use ultramarine all the time so maybe it is ultramarine and like burnt umber and it's just that in my hands those things turn gray but um yeah gila epstein amazing beautiful work yeah absolutely beautiful painting and the last one for this chair you know, this is when you can't buy a remington you know this is as close as you can get to uh to that so perfect so we have amy erickson oh yeah so amy we talk about amy quite a lot because with warrior painters amy has been doing just this this gorgeous um exercises on color and, um, you know, way before she started doing that, uh, I saw what she was doing and I was like, I need a painting of Amy's. And, uh, you know, this uh, stiletto heel, just super, what do you call this, Dan? Like high boot, high heel, like, I don't know, platform That's a, boot, I don't know. Super, I would call it a super high platform heel. 
There we go. So super high heel platform. I'm sorry, I kicked the tri- platform boot or something. Platform boot. Yeah, there we go. Ankle so, boot. Ankle it's boot. An ankle boot. Oh, there we go. So, so many platform, words. Platform high heel ankle boot. There you go. Tons of words that I wouldn't really know what to do with. Um, oh, so good. So so good. Mm-hmm. So look at look at this. Look at yeah. these folds. Oh yeah. my god. And the pattern. bury me in those folds. Yeah, if I die, I want to be in here. <laughs> So it, the pattern, perfect, like you said, Danny, absolutely perfect. Yeah. Just that shape and how it gets lost, like yeah. slowly lost. Um, love that shimmer. I think Fed is probably going to wear some of these at some point in their <laughs> life. So Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Oh, the wood grain also? Come on. Amy is amazing. Amy Erickson, we have I mentioned her quite a lot here. Please check her out. You know, she she's doing an incredible job with Warrior Painters. Warrior Painters, again... Um, is a you know as healthy of a painting group as i've ever ever seen kaylee and angela have created this space that is super super healthy and there's nothing that i like more than just like respect good vibes people working hard you know if that is the energy that surrounds painting sign me up that's very cool so if in the west coast area because i know they're doing a lot of like uh, physical workshops and real life workshops um Please check them out uh, and write to Amy to see if if uh, she's got work available, if she's, you know, what their schedule is regarding classes um, or write Kaylee or write Angela. So, OK. Yes. So there we go. Uh, so batch one. We're good. Yeah. And- OK. We're going to take a break. Commercial break. Woo. So yeah. we're starting the second chair, second batch. OK. If you guys are, <laughs> you know. Tired, let us know. With uh, another Colombian artist. Oh, yeah. Two of them. Actually, two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the portrait of a Colombian artist done by another Colombian artist. Yeah. So, this is... A a, little bit higher, please. Yeah. This is the actual uh, uh, plate, metal plate for uh, an etching that Juana did. Juana Forero Bustamante. Juana F. Bustamante. On that, Instagram, yeah. That she did um, of Laura Murillo. So Juana, the artist, is an incredible artist. And Laura is, is an, an incredible, incredible artist. artist. Yeah. So both of them are two absolutely, you know, super, super, super talented people. So it's again what you were saying, like that we really enjoy when we can have an amazing yeah. art piece of that portrays another yeah. amazing artist. Yeah. So... This is also the case. And that reminds me of, um, I was in contact with Laura mm-hmm. to see if we could get something of hers because she mm-hmm. had like some etchings and mm-hmm. and we've never been, we've never really had the opportunity to, to say, okay, this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to commit to contacting her because, uh, you know, Laura is also like one of the nicest, coolest, uh, most talented people that I ever had the chance to just you know, a company in um, when I was at the faculty. And also a very sweet person. Oh, one of the nicest she's people. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, she's fierce, but she's one of the nicest, warmest, you know, yeah. people in the world. Um, so I think we would both love to have something of hers. Yes. And we have uh, other stuff from Juana. We actually yeah. have a print of this etching. Yeah. Oh, and very, we have another w- another print of an and etching. And we have a litho, yeah, of Juana. But it's that's, bigger. Oh, it so can't it fit on this table, yeah. Yeah, so maybe uh, when we do a part two or part of three like or... bigger stuff, we'll exactly. call it. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, but maybe we can put but I asked Juana that I, you know, because I, you know, because of of my history with etching, uh, because of my mother, um, I told her if it was possible, maybe that instead of her like crossing her plate, if she could just ink the plate so that it seals. And and she would um, if she would consider it selling it to us, and she was super cool because that's not people don't usually do that, but um, but uh, she she did that for us, and it's it's super 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 cool. Yeah. So you were asking for Dallas Rayburn. Oh yeah, Dallas. My uh, God. Here it is. Here it and is. And we have a shell being the other side. So yeah. So this is Dallas Rayburn. A little bit on top. Yes. Yeah. Sorry if it's uh. No, yeah. It's just. But this drawing, my God, yeah. Dallas can draw. 
Yeah. And sometimes Dallas is like nuts. He's like, oh, I'll send it to you. I'll give it away. He's like Grace. Grace is like, oh, I'll send you. Just send me two do- two bucks and I'll send you five drawings. It's like, no, no. Yeah. No. Like both Dallas and Grace are like so damn good. Like they're so good at yeah. drawing. It's not even funny. Yeah. So Dallas was going to be like, no, no, no. I'm, I'll send it to you. Like, don't. Don't worry. And I'm like, are you kidding me no and and we paid for it mm-hmm. so i don't know like, and it is just like oh forget it blowing. forget it it's it's he's i mean I, I wish i could take it out i mean you if, could yeah if i wish very, i could yeah <laughs> wish i could but i can't if you're super careful you yeah, can that's actually that's the big if if you want i can help you well you can hold this one yep. for me while i do that thank you you're welcome look at that my yeah. god Come on, it hurts. Yeah. By the way, I wiped this and I scraped it, so there's no fresh paint underneath. Um, but look at that. Oh, my Lord. Like, how many talented people on this earth? Jesus. It's just too much. The edges on everything? Come on. The nose, the underplane of the nose. Oh, I'm dying here. Yeah. Anyways. So, um, no, but let me have it so we can or, or maybe i could show fit it um, inside here amy's yeah oh i'm sorry i'm trying to take in, take it out oh it has something yeah there's another one i haven't realized it had another yeah. one so we have that gorgeous painting of uh keith pfeiffer of the um of the um uh, cake it's a little bit bigger than this, so I don't know if if we can. Do you think that fits? Keith's painting fits here. Mm, we could try it. Maybe. Do you want me to bring it? Um. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Okay. And maybe we can show Keith, other Keith's work if we you have it. With this one, maybe. I mean, I'm doing like a remix, but. So, oh. Oh yeah. We're going yeah. Those three by, are amazing. By topic. Yeah. Let's let's. Or uh, by not by topic, but like, like we could hang all of these together. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna go for it. So we bought that Keith uh, Pfeiffer. Uh, no, we actually, I, you know, this we have to be honest. We actually exchanged paintings with Keith. So I think I got, you know, I got the uh, what do you call it? The uh, longer side of the stick on on this because uh, the longer end of the stick with this because this painting is far better than anything that I could have given him, and um, it's it's one of. I think our most prized paintings because it's just, again, I think it's perfect painting. Let's see if it fits. Maybe not. So I'm going to take my camera for a bit. Oh, my. But it's impossible to reproduce <laughs> this painting. Yeah, but it kind of shows yeah anyways this painting is just you know three tones of quite pretty much the same value here so that's redder that's greener that's bluer um tiny little accent so just a half like a step not even like half a step darker here and then these little changes that are super no, super great. abstract oh okay. we can't see that so three little changes that are super super abstract here for like what maybe a table or some sort of pattern. Uh, then the genius is like, there's just this kind of ghostly edge. There's yeah. almost nothing here separating what would be the glass. Um, what do you call that? I don't know. You know, the things that you would put on a cake, glass. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, covering shield. I, I, covering I don't, shield? I, I like don't know. That. I don't know the, any of this. The cake, glass, covering shield. The yeah. Ca- yeah, that sounds like an Elden Ring uh, bad, <laughs> bad dude. Uh, tiny and, and shadow. And zero, zero. So yeah. uh, Monique, Monique was saying dome. The dome, thank you. So it's a glass dome mm-hmm. for pastries, I feel. Um, and uh, tiny, tiniest hint of a shadow here. And then it's just, again, every single decision is just genius. Yeah. Like the reflection of the window and the saturation of the reflection, it's like, kill me. I, uh, such an intelligent painting, yeah. such a brilliant, brilliant, you know, 
The choices are just out of this world. Yeah. Again, perfect painting. Just a, an absolutely perfect painting. Yeah, we love it. Oh, adore this painting of Keith. I, I, every time I see it, you know what? I actually feel bad that I, you know, because I send him a painting of my mother that I really like. But <laughs> no, but I feel like, I feel like it wasn't enough. I always feel bad. I always. Oh, do. but I always feel super happy because we have it in, in we have it in, oh, this our, is in our room. Bedroom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have like two pieces. And I also love that we have it. In front of the window. Yeah, we have. So a, it kind of looks as if it was reflecting the window. Yeah, no, give me oh, a sec. Oh, sorry, sorry. And I'll go. Thank you. So, um, so we always thought that that you know this is kind of like the before, you know, before the uh, cake was gone. Yeah. Um, so it's it, it would be a great accompanying painting. Uh, It's it's again th those little bits of abstraction, far more you know contrasty, sure, but uh, but very very delicate here, super super nice. The sprinkles are so so yeah. nice. It it has that kind of nice little note of saturation that that uh, Keith's painting has. So this is Shelby's. Um, let me see uh, Shelby's last name because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, so Shelby Cathcart. Shelby Cathcart. Un hacia la uh -huh. Shelby Cathcart. Yep. So awesome, Shelby. We also had a misunderstanding regarding this painting, and Shelby was super, super cool and eventually got the painting to us. So we're super grateful. But yeah. Acá. Yep. Okay, yep. this. And, and the other one. Yeah. This this would so these would be like three paintings that would go together like beautifully. So in and, the center it would be the Keith one. Oh, you would hang that. Like, that would be all you. No, 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 no. But I'm thinking because this one connects to Keith. Yeah. The one of the cake yeah. of Shelby you just uh, showed. Yeah. And this one you're showing also yeah. connects to uh, Keith. So yeah. I, no, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, colors. And, oh, God. I wish, like, the colors were better on, on our camera. I wish you guys could see the paintings because they, yeah. they are tremendous. But this this is Sena Jovi. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, Sena. I'm going with your the way we pronounce your last name here in um in Latin Colombia, America. Yeah. So I, I I don't know if Ajoi is uh I've always heard it in Ecuador. Well, well, I say I've always because they're a soccer player, a football player. So. No, but there was a girl in my uh level in my school. Oh, okay, Ajoi. My no, but it was Ajoi. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's weird because yeah, because I know the uh, football players is Ajoi. Uh, mm. I've heard that. No, but she was a Joey. 20 years. I remember. So, so Sena, you she are amazing. Nice. We love you. You are incredible. This painting, as soon as we saw it, it's like, oh my God, that's like yeah. a painting to accompany Keith's painting. Yeah. We got to have that. Um, and this was super. <laughs> Sena is beautiful because this was so, you know, uneven on yeah. the sides and with, you know, I, I know Sena was, because she was feeling well, weird about it. Wait, because the focus is going crazy. Oh, it's going crazy. nuts. Oh, because it's so vague. Yeah. That's why. Because it's jumping in and out. No, it's good now, but it yeah. was like jumping. Oh, because so. my hand maybe is hovering yeah. over the uh, painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but we actually ended up just cutting it like perpendicular. So we had to cut a little bit into some of the uh, of the painting But nothing really that changed anything of no. the painting. So no, no, no. just to clean up the edges just a tiny bit because it was like super at an angle. But um, it's an incredible painting. I mean, she's, mm. what can you say about her? She's amazing. Uh, her drawings are just delicious. Please go to Senna's um, Instagram and just buy anything. If she has drawings available, buy the drawings, anything she's doing, and you'll see. You'll, you won't regret it. She's that good. Yeah, so Julia was saying... Esa pintura está increíble, esa pintura, como se escribe el nombre. Entonces, Sena, ahí ya lo escribí, ah, sí. Gracias, Lindita. Eh, escena a Jovi, sería en español. Pero... Yo le digo a Jovi. Pues yo a Jovi. Yo, and do we have um, the drawing, maybe, that Sena did? You, Or is it no, way... Ok, we... just because we're talking about Sena, I like... We have it here. Yeah, I know it's somewhere there. But I don't know where, so... Oh, so we can... No, don't worry. Oh, here it is, here it is. There you go. Okay, so this is uh, drawing 
Senna did uh, of Josie, and it's just... Yeah. I mean, I don't know how to convey how good this drawing is. Yeah. It's just... Crazy. Oh, the tones in this drawing, the control in this drawing is just sick. It's... It kills me every time I see it. And I, I painted... I think I've painted Josie maybe three times. And I thought I had done a good job until I saw this drawing. Like, this drawing is like, oh, okay. I am so, so far from from being able to just um, do something like this, this kind of powerful. So, like I was saying, I think this is one of the times that I think we were very lucky that um, when we saw this drawing, we were like, oh my God, we got to have this drawing. And it was available. But truthfully, uh, what I was saying, if if you like an artist and maybe it's not the work that you would want to have, but there's other stuff, consider buying the other stuff. Y yes, you're going to be helping them, but also trust me, like that little of a, you know, bump that you give them is going to give them like energy to keep doing amazing work. And, and hopefully, you know, you'll be there when they produce something just incredible and you'll be super quick to say, I want that now, but it's only because of you that they were able to just keep pushing and keep pushing. So, you know, even if it's not like your super, super favorite, just, just be yeah. me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, cause I'm, I'm pushing I'm the, um, yeah. okay. No, sorry. But don't worry. So maybe if it's not yet, yeah, like your super favorite, consider buying something, you know, just to support that artist that you enjoy. So anyways, yeah, we yeah. adore this drawing. Yeah. Um, we're done? No. Oh my God, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is that when we were choosing, we were like, yeah, but we we have to choose just a tiny bit. Yeah, no, and this is- And now it's like this taking- is, These are some, some so, of the things. Uh, we have, it's, it was a gift of our dear friend that was portrayed by Lich. Yeah. Who is Alejandra. Yeah. Alejandra Oviedo, who yeah. is a friend we love dearly. Incredible illustrator. Did, yeah. And she did this illustration of me uh, with my carvings in our living room. And we also have an embroidery. Uh, so there you go. And there you go. It's like. So she does these uh, little. And we have like a t shirt. She a t shirt. Did a t -shirt yeah. For yeah. You also. She, she gave me that embroidery with the t shirt. So. Oh, oh. And the t shirt that mm -hmm. you have is also mm -hmm. embroidered, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me see because I gotta move close. Yeah. No, oh, you know what it is that I'm because I'm turning so much. Yeah, no, it's I, like, I, yeah, I'm moving. Yeah, it's no, but it's it's because I'm turning. Bit, no, but it's fine. It's fine. So, so don't this is turn her I... uh, knitted work. Is it knitting or embroidery. sewing? Sewing. Uh, yeah. No, because sewing is with a machine. No, I, I think you can. No, hand sewn. No, I think it's embroidery. Okay, okay. So I'm not gonna speak about something I really don't know. I think so it's embroidery. Yeah. That's her work here so yeah, with you know what i'm going to do just so that i don't move too bit. much yeah. or like that Better than and uh this is a, a like a drawing like an illustration that she did of danny working and these are her uh pieces my, yeah her woodlings, woodlings. Her sculptures <laughs> yeah that's amazing and she did the benjamin Bjorklund. look at the benjamin that's yeah. so good she did oh, uh, oh and Holly. yeah she oh did my the god that's little so, finger yeah that's uh, incredible character we oh have. i'm dying here that's yeah. so good oh these are so good yeah 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 and that's another painting she did all the paintings that we have um, in our living just room, hanging yeah. in our living room that's so good yeah so we have that one. Oh, that's amazing we have yeah next <laughs> I'm, so, I'm getting tired now yeah Oh, Maybe this is a Wilbo. Stop. Yeah, this is a, a Wilbo painting. So we should have had this in the Wilbo pack. Because but, um, they're missing like... I know, I know. This is... Uh, 30. Do you want us to keep No, up, no, keep we're good, we're good, or? we're good, okay. we're good. I'm perfect. Okay. This is an Alexander Wilby painting yeah. also. Very, very nice. I think he sent this one to us. Uh, I don't think I, I paid for this one. I think it was just Wilby being like super, super kind and super awesome. And he just sent it to me like... I don't even really know. Maybe that's me. I didn't even ask him, you know? I, I got to ask him. That no, could be me. I don't think it's you. Well, it's got the sexy lips. No, but you don't cap. have that glasses. You don't have square glasses. I used to. Well, Maybe but... Maybe you looked for a photo No, somewhere. I mean, I remember when we started dating, you had those. 
but I don't know if he has a, like a reference of you with that glasses. Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe. But I got to ask him. But I feel that that could be me. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to, you know what? I'm never going to ask him and I'm going to believe that this is me. No, because I mean, they have long hair. I'm sorry, but they have long hair in the side. Okay, now you're being just <laughs> offensive. No, it's just I not you. I used to have hair. It's, it's not as if I was born like a cue Yeah, ball. but there's not like references from you. Reference, like, like, well, oh, there's no. Pictures from yeah, you. Yeah, there's no, there's no way anyone found a picture with you with hair <laughs> in the <laughs> internet. Julia Tovar dice, ay hermoso Alejandra, me parece maravillosa. Sí, y sí. Y Cacaito dice, oh my God, ya te lo paso, no te preocupes. Ok. Eh, oh my God, ese bordado está divino. Y embroidery sí es, Dani. Ay, sí. ahí está Cacaito. Cacaito, Cacaito, uno le puede mandar a Alejandra y a cualquiera que sepa, que quiera, perdón. Eh, uno le puede mandar a hacer eh, los bordados, son muy lindos, son personalizados. El mío soy yo con una tortuguita. Entonces, eh. so I want to have, I want to get uh, Zara's um, last name right. Mm -hmm. So And this is have... Zara Akhrabi, Akhbari, Zara Akhbari. A little bit higher, maybe higher. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Zara Akhbari. Zara also, you know, if you're going to talk about drawing, just shut up, turn the lights off. We have no chance. You know, to compete with her in drawing, yeah. in terms of drawing, she is just. I never want to do a drawing of a, oh, of it. a winner dog. Oh no! <laughs> that I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, no, there's no way. It's like, oh, yeah, perfect. And, and this, uh, uh, a dachshund was uh, my first dog. So yeah, when I was young, uh, her name was Hortensia, and she was the coolest dog ever. She was amazing. And she it was, was a. A breed of dog we uh, were considering. We were considering, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I loved that dog. That was probably like my brother's dog, really. He he gave, you know, that was his life. Um, but we all loved uh, her. She was absolutely incredible. She was with us for a long time. But, um, you know, when I saw this drawing, I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? This is just. And Zara is like, what, what, what else do you say? And we couldn't just get one of her drawings. We got like maybe one of the coolest ones ever also. So we got this other drawing. And, you know, I don't want to ever paint a coat again or draw a coat again. I don't want to ever look at pattern again. Because when she does it, she's like, it's like, sit down, pay attention. This is how you do it. And when I notice how it's supposed to be done i'm like i don't think i have it in me <laughs> i don't think i could do this i'm not this good i just i don't have the patience i don't have the like there's nothing in me that is driving me to do it like this but when i see somebody who does have the patience and the drive and the talent to solve something like this in this way i'm like okay that's why i'm not as good as these people are <laughs> Because they are so committed to doing this well. So, so Emily, I mean, Jesus Christ. Emily Painting Elk Keenan was saying, can you spell Sari or share her Insta? Thanks. Oh. So I just typed it. Oh, it's thank you. It's Sarah Agbari. Yeah. So I Zara Agbari and her Instagram. Let's let's see. So it's Cause Zara. So the A from, the, from her uh, name, from her first name, is also the A from her last name so Zarah Bari underscore B so Zara would be and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right uh, Z-A-H-R-A-K-B-A-R-I underscore B she's incredible also if you want a drawing of hers please write to her just tell her like anything that you got Wh what do you have oh I drew a piece of lint just send it to me don't like don't even ask it's just it, she's that good uh, we also have these Keith. Oh, right, right, right. So, so Keith Pfeiffer, we also got uh, a drawing, a prep drawing, mm -hmm. beautiful prep drawing. Yeah. For this little painting. Yes. For this little painting. That's I love amazing. That also. we have the couple. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. So good. Yeah. So simple, so good. Okay. 
You got it? Yep. So we keep going. Uh, there you go. Okay, this is uh, Greg. Oh, what's Greg's last name? I want to get this right. Greg, uh, come on. Greg. Uh, oh, Jesus. Help me out, Jesus. Help me out, Jesus. Yeah, come on. Where are you, Greg? So maybe we can show another one? Uh, no, 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 no. We're stuck here. Okay. We're stuck here until we can get out of this. Greg? Oh, come on. I painted Greg, even. And we exchanged, you know, this is actually... Well, this was... A, it's sort of an exchange. He bought a painting of ours and we bought a painting of his. So it was like an old school exchange, let's say. Well, not old school exchange would be no money changing hand. But <laughs> yeah, this was a respect exchange. Oh, come on. Mm, let's see who finds the last name first. Oh, he's going to kill me. <laughs> no, because I remember the Greg part. And then I can't... I'm I'm not finding him on Instagram. Why? Okay. I had to do it. Like, I had to go into... Well, you guys could help me out. He does these. He did a drawing of me. And he did a ton of, like, a collage work of, of the... Um, uh, a bunch of paintings that we had done, you know, for our painted lives. Like that's Danny over here. Um, I can recognize some, but they're so abstract. That's a jar here that I, I, I remember. That's a bag. Um, that's Seppa over here. That's funny. Uh, there's, there's tons of cool ones there, but he, he took a lot of them and just collaged them together. And, and then, um, I don't know. It's incredible. Oh, that's Danny's sculpture here. It's so yeah. cool. That's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. But let me, let me see. I'm going to go into my pay PayPal because I think that's that's the easiest way to... Oh, um... it's covered there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because my PayPal... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want that to show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Activity. Uh, Money out. I think this is 20... 1, 22? No, 21. Yeah, maybe. So let's see. Greg. Just go with Greg. Gregory Harris. Yeah? Yes, Gregory Harris. There we go. Gregory Harris. Let me see. Yeah, I, I want to. What? <laughs> Is he gone from Instagram? Maybe. Maybe Greg that's Harris? why we didn't. No, let me see. Let me check again. Is it Greg, maybe? Greg Harris? Come on. What? No, I don't see him. Or maybe that's why. But I, I know it's Greg. 100%. Oh, alias Ari saying Greg Patel Harris. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Greg was super, super nice. Actually painted him i think it's one of the um it's in the week of um of uh water soluble oils i'm pretty sure i really like the portrait that i did of him mm -hmm. like i i think that's a super super cool portrait mm, and alias said he was saying i screenshot the drawing and searched by image on google nice so maybe Nice. That's a very good way. That's always a good way. Yeah, yeah. if someone uh, maybe wants to see... Yeah. Like the painting we're talking about and you can't understand uh, our pronunciation of their names because maybe we're kind of butchering them. For sure. Uh, yeah. You can screenshot and that's a very good tip, Ali. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we have this uh, very heavy metal. Uh, heavy metal, sure. <laughs> Tiebe. So this is a Tiebe painting. Yeah. That uh, this was like, oh wow. So I'm guessing this is 
Zinc? No, no, this is not even zinc. I don't, I don't think it it weighs way more than zinc. Actually, yeah. I have no idea what these markings are for. Uh, I haven't asked Siebe, but um, what is? I wonder. Maybe it's um. No. That's why it's that heavy metal. It's yeah, like pretty heavy. Oh, this weighs about. Um, I'm gonna say two pounds. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe more. I'm gonna say about three pounds. Okay, but show it, show it. Yeah, this is heavy as hell. So a little bit on top. Yeah. Higher. There you go. Yeah, I I always I've uh, painted Siebe uh, I think twice, maybe. Tw maybe three times. Or... No, three times. Yeah. yeah, for sure. No, three times. The one with the hat. The one with the kind of um, super close up, and then the one of the uh, Siebe in, in sunlight. The one that's like uh, Rembrandt, like what can I learn from yeah, Rembrandt? Yeah, yeah, that one was super cool. Yeah. I, I really like that one. It has like a little crown. Uh, but a lot of people love the one of Siebe in sunlight. Yeah. That's like one of the paintings that a lot of people really, really liked. Um, and, you know, Siebe is such a nice soul. It's, it's such a, such a nice person. Um, I was like, I need something to, uh, to remember Siebe and, you know, we love like super expressive paintings. It has the uh, little Kenyo up there. Um, and, um, just love everything about this. Uh, I remember him being like super worried that it was heavy and I was like, no, it's fine. And, um, but the sad thing is that we have to pay based on weight also when we get stuff. And I remember when I got like Siebe's painting, I, I looked at the, uh, weight and it was like super, super heavy. And I was like, what am I getting? Like, what is this? <laughs> and, um, but then when I saw it, I was like, oh no, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. So yeah, I wonder what it is. Maybe it's like steel or some, it, or maybe, nah, it's not aluminum. Oh. Um, I have no idea. Yeah. But so, awesome painting of Tiebe. So we have next, yes. Amy's sure. I don't know if I'm yeah. uh, mispronouncing. So Amy's work is amazing. And we yeah. have another painting. Yeah, we have another one, oh, but okay. it's in a wood. So give me a bit to... Oh, no, don't worry about it. Find. No, it's 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 actually uh, um, one of those canvas boards, actually. No, yeah, I have it here. So oh, okay. Down, so. so this is one of Amy's that we got. It's here, beautiful. Here. It actually goes super well with uh, Wiley Rizzo that we have, but it's that one's like in a frame outside. So we have this one. She's gorgeous. She's a hell of a painter, Amy. Mm -hmm. um, I remember Amy being in a forum that I was in way, way back. So I've seen her work. We we haven't been close, but I've seen her work for, I don't know, like, you know, more than 15 years. So always, always respected her. Uh, I think she's a tremendous, tremendous painter. So we, we love this one. This one's like the next amazing. one is my favorite. Yeah, I have to say, it's just gorge. like breathtaking. Yeah, this one's just I something. Love... Poquito más en la izquierda. There you go. Yeah. It's so simple and yeah. so beautiful. Ugh, so nice, perfect. Yeah. So nice. Very like uh, Louis Dodd, Fairfield Porter. Ah, yeah. uh, it's just. Come on, why are people so good? Yeah. Um. And we got another one of hers. Yeah. Very, this one's, because this is almost like um, uh, Vuillard-esque. Yeah. Uh, and then a super clean frame for that yeah. window. Like, that is such a cool way of making, you know, trying to make all of these things work together. Uh, so good. Yeah. Such a gutsy painting. It's really, really nice. But yeah. Maybe the uh, that kind of red earthy color reminds me of that uh, Vuillard and, and those kind of greenish. No, but everything. I mean, yeah. it does feel like yeah, Vuillardish. Very, very. Vuillardish. So. Vuillardish. Uh, yeah. Oui, oui. Great. The three of them are going back. Yeah, back to the chair. Back to the future. And we keep going. I don't know what was here. So... Let me see. Oh, so we have Mary. Oh, Mary's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Mary Montgomery. Mary, am I getting Mary? What is her no, Instagram? Yeah. yeah, but Mary. 
It's MC Montgomery. Because I was going to, I thought uh, Mary's um, Instagram is Mary Montgomery. But I met Mary. I met Mary um, when uh, I did my first Rome workshop. And I think she was, oh God, I got to say 18 or 19 maybe. Mm -hmm. And she just floored us. I mean, in the first couple of paintings, I was like, this is not fair. Like, how is she this good? <laughs> oh, my God. And um, she, again, she's one of the sweetest, nicest girls that I've ever met. Um, that talented, that, you know, crazy, crazy talented. Um, she, she was uh, going to school with um, Francis Vallejo. And Francis is one of those artists that I'm also, you know, in debt you know, with myself of saying, I want something of Francis. I've been wanting something of Francis my whole life. So I got to get something of Francis. But, um, but because I, I had met Mary, I was like, oh, come on, we should get something of Mary's. And, um, and super, super nice. There's, there's tons of beautiful transparency here, like drawing underneath. Cause I guess while she was working with, uh, Francis, uh, Francis has like, uh, this repertoire of solving images. He, he is just a tremendous, tremendous illustrator. And in, in terms of drawing ability, shut up, like good night. He's, he's incredible. So it was super, super cool that somebody as talented as Mary could have uh, mentorship uh, with with somebody like Francis. And, um, you know, it, again, it's one of those things that I, I just I really thought she, she was one of the sweetest persons ever. And I, you know, so much talent at a, such a young age that I just I wanted to have something of hers. Yeah. So. Julia was asking, does she have an Instagram? Yeah. So MC uh -huh. dot Montgomery, mm -hmm. MC dot Montgomery. So Mary Claire Montgomery, she's she's super super cool. So next, she did like a landscape, like we a We have uh, Omero Salazar's. Yeah, so Painting. cool. Yeah, and Omero was super kind because uh, we got this one of his. Un poquito más arriba, right? Sorry, mm -hmm. which wow, I mean that is so good. Yeah, so so good. But these are the cool things that. Sometimes you buy one, and because they're in a sketchbook, you get another one. You get one. two, yeah. Yeah, so it's super, super cool. Mm -hmm. So this is Omero Salazar. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if you like him, please. I think his Instagram is the same. Let me see. Omero Salazar Art. So Omero Salazar Art. Um, Texas. So, you know. Uh, again, write to him. Hey, Omero, do you have anything available? Awesome. We want to buy this. So, yeah, super cool. So... Cool, cool, cool. We have... What do we have here? Oh, who who did this? Help who me out. Who did this? I don't know. Who did this? I don't like, know. I don't, I don't know if I like it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, This is Sepa. Oh, Omero Salazar said, yo. Oh, dude. my God. I just came in. Oh, dude. It, just in time. So, Omero's here. Omero, like, drop your name. Say, like, if you have a website or something. Well, we don't have links available for... Um, no, but you can share your Instagram. Yeah, or... share your Instagram. Or if you have a link, just put, like, space.com yeah. or something that, you know, if you, if it doesn't read, like, a link. Space. and people can com? Yeah, yeah, just space it. So, and people can put that together. Uh, but this is Sepa. And, uh, again, Sepa is, like, super, super cool. And I, you know... I always thought, oh, come on, like a little bit of my heart is with Kenyo, even though I'm not part of Kenyo, like part as as an active part is as active as, um, you know, Milo or Hillary or Dennis or Tsepa, uh, um, you know, were in the in the origins of, of Kenyo. So but they they have a very special place in my heart. So I uh, always wanted something of Sepas And um, yeah, come on, you know. A meme, meme of a dog, <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, I think that I even think that if Samu had to pick like one painting, it would be it's like that Samu. One, yeah, you can look through every single painting that we have. Just you could pick one. It's like okay, I know which one yeah. I want. I think the it's meme. brilliant painting, like yeah. gorgeous brushwork. So um, um, Sepa is a, a hell of a painter. So. so Catherine was saying, does the second Amy have an Instagram? The Great Code Against the Yellow Wall. So I was gonna yeah, of say, course. yeah, but I was also gonna say that. 
I'm going to try, and I'm putting myself on the burner here. Okay, that's, I don't know. But I'm going to try to um, name all the artists in the description. So maybe oh, not Jesus. today. Oh, Jesus. No, don't. Yeah. Not today, but uh, soon. Yeah. I would try to put all the names in the description. Yeah, because that's not easy. No, because I would have to rewatch all the video oh, and just I know. type them. So. I know, but well, yeah. I'm committing. I don't but know maybe, why no, I am. No, but, but maybe chat, you know, maybe you guys can help us out. And if somebody asks like, oh, what was Amy? Yeah, maybe I take that back because maybe it's super complicated it is. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> was very quick. That was a quick yeah. turnaround. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Uh, this is Lobby. So... Uh, Lovisa, this is like yeah, one of our favorite paintings of her. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. It's it's perfect. This is just perfection. It's a little bit of the uh, nipple here, the uh, full lips, but you can't really uh, see the lips. The tiny bit of the flesh, like here, turning in the arm, just that green cast shadow. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. And I think Lovi with this one, I don't know if it's, but it's probably not around there. But she sent us a drawing also of uh, Josie. No, so, we don't have it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a we we not only have this from Lobby, but we have um, we have a drawing that she did of Josie. So very, very nice. But this is like, oh my god, it's super, super cool. Um, we have a little bundle. Oh, what? A loving uh, bundle we have here. Which one? What Wilfred is it? Woods. Oh, Wilfred's. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that drawing. So my precious bundle. My precious. <laughs> my precious Wilfred Wood. Yeah. So we have that drawing, that bigger drawing. The one that um that's in the background of that painting that that we did a couple of weeks yes. ago, maybe. The 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 person that's sleeping. Yeah, and we have these drawings of Wilfred also. So we have that one. We have that one. That's amazing. Yeah. He's just... <sighs> I'd like to say this is his boyfriend at the time. I'm almost sure. Mm, I don't know. It's his partner at the time. I mean, I, I'm not speculating that much to be to be super honest. Oh, actually, this one's like that. Mm -hmm. That's his signature. So. Yeah. I love it. I love that. Yeah. Eyelashes, look at that. That's so good. <laughs> and the pointy nose. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, he is. Oh cute. my god, we're dying here. Yeah, he's one of our faves. Yeah. For sure. So, uh we have another bundle. Another? Have another bundle. It's our Gracielita's bundle. Oh, oh yeah. Grace, come on. Well, we have a framed Grace in the yeah. uh, living room. Yeah, so we have our Grace bundle here. So I'm gonna pass you one by one. Because there's like tiny one. Oh, and we have more things here. Oh, that's the uh, lobby yeah. drawing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's let's. It was over some, there. Uh, yeah. Some love. Um, yeah, look at that. So we have another Josie. That's super cool. So, and lobby wrote something uh, very nice in the back. Uh, but yeah, very, very nice. So this one yeah. is our uh, Gracina Samosir. Gracina Samosir. Yeah. So, Bundle. yeah, Grace is crazy because Grace, you know, sends, I mean, we we got a, a bunch of her drawings, but she's probably sent more than what we bought because she's kind of nuts. But um, so little self-portrait. She does a lot of these. I love that it's so uneven. It's just crazy. It's amazing. Uh, let me see. How can I show this? Because this one's like a little tougher to see. No, it's just that that one needs like back a backing mm -hmm. to see because this one's in like tracing paper, so this one's kind of difficult to see. Uh, let me see w which is this one. Look at that! Oh, Dennis! So this is one of the uh, Gracina drawing Dennis. I mean, again, you know, we have something of Dennis, we have something of Grace, beautiful. We have something of both of them together. Uh, another portrait of hers. Incredible. Uh, yeah, she's just oh, too good. Oh, she's um. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, how can you 
be this good at drawing like buy anything of hers also yeah. go to her page even the, it's like oh maybe i don't like this one that much oh stop it just buy it just buy if you have the money just buy it yeah they're all good they're all amazing and it's all grace all of like grace is in everything that she touches so just go and buy it please and we have that look at that jesus christ oh my god I can't even look at these. Like I'm getting depressed. Yeah. They're hard to look. Oh, I don't want to draw. I don't want to paint anything now. I don't yeah. want to do anything. Ah, uh, look at this hand. Oh. Uh. Yeah. How could it be so good and hurt so bad? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. And. Okay, mm, so this is. So we're gonna end up with this. Graciela. So we have two things oh, here yeah, of, of two friends. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, one of my very well a two. Bit, hi, hi. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I'm not no, gonna no, take no, that arriba está la cinta. Yeah, yeah. No, I, it's in the back, but oh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm just yeah. gonna leave Ooh, it. Oh, we kind of see you in the. Oh, look at that! It's the head. Do you see the uh, baldness? Well, I uh... could see like the shape of your head, the but shape? not your features. Okay. So it's kind of wonky cool oh mm. nice 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 so this is um william tahin willie yeah so um we love willie but i'm gonna speak also as like his friend like i absolutely adore mm -hmm. willie willie tahin um so you've i talked have about i'm sorry you've talked about uh the time when nobody showed to your class yeah and willie was your friend that was with you yeah so he saved you so willie from... wasn't even in that class yeah he had actually i think by that by then had left the university yeah um and but he would show up and i would obviously let him in to like um you were you were supposed to like get permission to let people in your class to no, but, but i always thought always in every... i always thought like are you kidding me do I have to ask for permission to let somebody into work? No, former students were always yeah. in the university. Just although like. Willie never graduated, so I don't well, know how that works. Former students, yeah. I didn't say. But you know former what? Former students. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm probably never going to work there again. So I don't care. I probably broke the rules, but I'll. I will never, ever, ever stop anyone from from wanting to work. Never, never. And if I know them and I love them and I have a chance to tell them, please show up. And I think that people will also benefit from watching them work. Like I will always let people in always because come on, you cannot say somebody when they're willing to draw, willing to paint to tell them, ah, oh, sorry, you can't get in. Like there's space for you, but you can't come in. I'm sorry. There's more than enough space because back then that room was huge, enormous. So I am never going to be that person. If that got me into trouble, which it never did, but if that would have gotten me into trouble, I would have done it again. Because, come on, that's insanity to tell like a young artist that wants, that shows up to paint to tell them, no, I'm sorry, you can't come in. Forget it. So, Willie, um, I love him dearly. Um, and he, he, he found himself doing um, monoprints. And... Uh, you know he's he's super super talented he's he's very very good at drawing and he found this weird connection with monoprints um i remember us talking about monoprints and and with that uh, kent williams book you know years ago cuz kent williams did some really cool monoprints also um and and we when he started doing them he was just like kicking ass and uh always wanted something of of willies and he um he started doing these in Japanese paper in a very, very nice, very, very fragile Japanese yeah. paper. Very thin. This is so thin. I remember my, when my mom... Because it has like a cover back. It yeah, has like yeah, a yeah. cardboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember when my mom was doing um, woodblocks, uh, she, she, uh, solography, the Japanese paper that she was using, I think it was Akaba, Ak Akaba, I think so. Uh, that paper was thicker for sure, for sure. But wheelies is like tissue paper. It's yeah. so, so thin. Um, but this is glorious. This is so, so nice of wheelie. So uh, again, it's um, 
it's so nice to remember your friends every time you look at what they do yeah. and when they're so talented it's just it makes it so much better yeah. we have another friend and yeah oh and we have to bring julia's painting oh please yeah let's finish it with uh julia's oh i almost are you good <laughs> yeah take, please be careful so this is cal this is andres cal also you know willie william chahin uh, let me see, because I know Willie does like illustration work. He, he does comic book or uh, or graphic novel uh, cover work for people. So let me. I shared Willie's Instagram. Okay, but let me let me see. Where's Willie's? Oh, his Instagram. Yeah. I don't know what's Willie's Instagram. Oh, no, Willie. Oh no no, I wrote Willie. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry. W Chahin, <laughs> it's yeah. William, maybe. No W W Chahin. Okay okay Chahin. Oh, okay perfect. Yeah, so W. Chahin and write to him. He's super, super talented. If you have friends or somebody who uh, who's looking to for uh, maybe insight for uh, art for a graphic novel or comic book, or maybe you want to hire somebody for a cover, Wheelie is amazing. Yeah. Uh, another one of our amazing friends um, that we were connected to, but we didn't know it because... He used to be a regular at the bar Danny used to work at. No, but the funny thing is that he was, I mean, he was a teacher in the university that I studied. So he was a teacher as well as Nicolas. But he actually was the, I don't know how to say that, like the juror of a Jury, final. Maybe. Yeah. Of a final work I did. So, I mean, I saw him before, but okay. wh then when he went to the bar, I didn't recognize him as a teacher. So I had no idea he was the person who had evaluated my work. Yeah. And then... Uh, One of the first nights we had like a kind of date together mm -hmm. that was in a friend's house that was his birthday. Yeah. Um, Cal showed up and he saw Danny and he's like, wait, what? And he's like, oh, I think I've seen you. You work at that bar. Yeah. And, uh, and um, so it was funny, like yeah, because we he all... went to the rock bar, yeah, uh, that I worked for. So. so we were all, you know, very subtly connected. Mm -hmm. But Cal is somebody also that I mean, I can't love him more. He's incredible. I've known him for a very long time. He's a super, super, super talented painter. Um, he sells not only his oil paintings but uh, G clays of his work. Now he even has a domestica. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. So, so, can you put it a little bit higher because oh. the shoes are not showing? Oh, and the shoes are so. A little cool. bit more over there. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, great. And um, yeah, so I don't know how much he gets with the uh, domestica. May I'm pretty sure he gets. You know, it's better if you buy something directly off yeah. of him if you like his work. But he's tremendous. He's amazing. So if you want to support uh, other Colombian artists, he's he's super, super good. Willie is super good, super talented also. So Andres Cal, so K-A-L, super easy to find him. Uh, yeah. He's, I mean, we love him. So yeah, we yeah. love everyone that we've been showing here. And like, we would finish with our I mean, dear, well, I was saying, I was saying. Our dear. We, we, I was saying we love uh, everyone. Time out, Julia. Yeah, time out, queen. <laughs> The timeout queen, Julia. I don't know if it would show. I don't, I don't think completely. it fits. So can you take your phone out yeah, and I would take see. my image out. So bye, everyone. Uh, I'm going to take my camera off. Well, for a second. No, forever. Oh, my God. No, it's okay. It's okay. So this is one of uh, Julia's uh, paintings that she did as a uh, final for um, my class. The, can I... I'm going to fix uh, the... Because I think it's super bright. It's if overexposed, it, yeah. yeah. So, so can I turn it... Sure, underexpose it a little bit. Or a lot of it. A lot of it, yeah. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I'm perfect. Okay, Danny's like hovering over a chair. Um, so, Julia, I don't remember, uh, Julia Marina, if this was for painting or this was for painting the figure because i know i i used to do uh another class uh back then but i don't remember which class this would be for uh but it was one of her finals and she obviously got like five a plus um she's she's so so talented and i asked her about this painting and julia was um she's so damn nice that she was like well it's in my parents house but you know 
um, I could get it to you guys. And yesterday she came by and she dropped this painting off and she's, you know, super amazing for do for doing it. Because, and I'm sad I wasn't there. Yeah, I know, no, Danny was voting. I wanted to say hi yeah, to Danny, Danny hit, Julia. Hit, Danny doesn't vote nearby where I vote. Um, so Danny had to uh, go close to her parents' house to vote. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna change that. But the cool thing but... about this is that I, I rem like I remembered exactly how this felt like. Like this is exactly how I remembered how it feels. I didn't remember like the specifics because I didn't remember all the scratchiness uh, Julia did for um, your father's arm. Oh, this is delicious. Like the body is just forget it. Like this peck. Oh, this little bit of light that is like nothing there. It's like come on. Um, amazing. I think it's an amazing painting. So we, we are very, very proud and happy to, um, have this with us. So thank you so much. Julia Marina. Julia dice, ay, muchas gracias por mostrarla. Fue en pintura uno, Nico. Cuepucha. So this is paint, this is first painting. This is the painting that Julia Marina did. Do you want me to give you a hand? No, I'm, I'm good now. So this would have been the first painting Julia did. So first semester of painting, imagine that. And she paints this, that's how talented she is. First semester for many, cause I, I used to teach uh, painting one. So painting 101, first painting. And this is, this is in somebody who's like ridiculously talented. This is four months of painting. Like that is crazy to me. That is crazy. This for me was like two and a half years of painting when, when I studied. So. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, but anyways, th so are we done with uh, part one? Yeah. I think yeah, I think done. that's enough. Yeah. I don't know why I thought there was that more? we were going to... No, no. Oh. That we were going to be here. Because, I mean, we were Forever? doing like... We were saying like, no, we're going to do a little selection. And I was like, yeah, it's going to be like an hour long. Yeah. And we've been here yeah. as if it was a regular session. Oh, but I'm happy. Oh, so sorry. No, no, no. It's not because of you talking or because of no, me talking. Uh, it's always because you talking. we thought we were selecting less things that we. Yeah, I felt bad because we were leaving stuff out. Yeah. So. Well, we do have a lot of. I stuff. know we ha we have other stuff to show. But we could do uh more kind of episodes of this or yes. more videos like this. Well, if, if people you guys like them, like if it, people enjoyed something like this, like, yeah, let us know. You let can us leave know a and maybe comment, we could do like, uh, part another two. One. We please. could do a part two for sure. Yeah. Um, but this is also like a way of, cause a lot of times I don't know if people believe us when we say that we are, you know, just lovingly and genuinely happy to support other people because it makes us, our lives richer and makes us happier. And it makes us like just looking at all of these works today, cause we don't get to the chance to look at them like all at the same time. Mm -hmm. We are so like, I am overwhelmed at how talented people yeah. are right now. I like genuinely overwhelmed. Yeah. And um, I don't know if people believe us. Like when we say, no, we have, you know, we have approached artists. And when we say, please approach other artists, it's because we know that we have to, if we're asking that of other people, we have to lead by example. Yeah. Like that is, if we've chosen the role to say, hey, painting could be approachable and painting could be affordable and painting could be something that, you know, connects people and painting doesn't have to feel so far away. And my God, we've gotten paintings from all over this world, all yeah. over this world or, or sculptures. So um, yes. hopefully this is just a snippet of, of us saying, no, these are the things that are, you know, that make us happy. And this is um, probably a year and a half of, of um, chances that we've, we've had to uh, support other artists, like opportunities that we've had to support other artists. And, um, and we're super happy also to show them here because oh, yes. I'm seeing some comments of people saying that they get to know new artists. Yes. And that's amazing because yes. I think that the things we buy are because of course we find them amazing but i would also love to have a space where i can see like i love when for example what you were saying about emil robinson yeah when an artist shares the art he loves you can get in touch of a lot of artists that you didn't know 
and then can that can be like crazy talented and you had no idea they existed so i think this is super cool way to share uh the things we like the things we yes. have and yeah. the things uh we've been super lucky to get very lucky so. i think in the end also that that feeling it's not just about saying oh i bought this and i have owners no 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 i think we're lucky to to be surrounded by so many interesting things and so many the work of so many talented people yeah it's um it's a blessing really it makes what we do so much easier also just being constantly constantly um reminded of of you know how vastly wide the spectrum of possibilities is when you're trying to draw or paint or sculpt yes. and how you know talent cannot be understood in in a single way it doesn't have age it doesn't have gender it doesn't have like it, it doesn't matter where you're from in this earth it none of that matters like it comes from everywhere everywhere so um i don't know hopefully this is this is just a a little uh ride that we took uh with you guys and yes. uh and i'm seeing that people really enjoy it because they're cool. saying there's a lot of comments saying Part two, part two, part two. So <laughs> cool, cool. We'll try to do that yeah. then. We'll try so, to set it up. Yeah. So thank you everyone yeah. for joining us. Just a, a parting uh, idea. Um, you know, we we have been in immensely lucky because we, we count with people that really, really are supportive of us. And, um, and we always try to convince people that, you know, when you support us, you're supporting Danny's family, you're supporting um, Samuan Fed, you're supporting also, you know, our hope to try to reach other artists so that, you know, we can uh, be surrounded by work that we love of them. So we, in uh, when we have the opportunity, we also um, kind of follow your lead and support uh, other people. But we have been very lucky. That is the truth. We have been lucky, luckier than we ever expected to be when we started our project. So... You know, if you don't have to like um, support us always, like trust me, if if what we're doing expands like the possibilities that you have to to support other artists, that's so cool. Also, so if you saw somebody that you liked today, um, watch the video again. Maybe scrub to the images that you liked. And, you know, maybe pay attention to their name, maybe see if uh, somebody gave their, um, if Danny posted their uh, Instagram or somebody else posted their name um, and search for them and look out for them and, and say, hey, I just saw, you know, this painting that uh, Danny and Nicolas have of you um, really liked it. Do you have more work that I can see mm -hmm. and follow up on that, like follow through, follow through. Trust me, like it gets us so excited when people are um, interested in our work, but it's also so deflating when nothing happens. Yeah. You know, when it's like, oh my God, your work is so cool. Can I see more? And you just always send what's available and um, and then you never hear anything back. Yeah, I even um, remember, I'm sorry. No, go I ahead. just I just uh, remembered the sculpture we have here that I did that's like the big one. Yes. With the lifesaver. How do you call that? Lifesaver. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I did that when I was uh, in the university and I told you that someone contacted me. Yeah. Uh, by Instagram. And they were like, oh, is it for sale? And I was like, wow, because it's a big, big yeah. sculpture. Yeah. They were like, yeah, I'm very interested. Do you have more photos? I sent it a lot of photos. Do you have the measurements? I did. Do you have the weight? And I was like, well, I can give you an approximate weight. I don't have how mm -hmm. to weight it but if you're interested and are you okay with like a deferred uh payment and i was like well we have to talk about it because i would have to ship it and they were not like no i'm here in bogota and then the user i don't know if they blocked me what <laughs> or they erased the account yeah because i remember that they were like oh yeah um i'm interested in it uh just give me the details of your uh account and i saw like that comment and I was like fine I'm gonna give you everything that you were asking because I think they were asking for the exact measurements and I was like I'm gonna give you the measurements and then I will give you my account 
and then the user <laughs> never appeared. Yeah. I was like Googling, like uh, searching, I'm sorry, the name. And I was like, where are they? <laughs> I mean, I've been measuring <laughs> like two day. weeks. <laughs> to this day, <laughs> this you're still culture. searching for them. Yeah, and they're not <laughs> here. So it was like, uh, yeah. I just felt terrible i was like uh, oh, i'm no. just like yeah. losing my time taking measurements yeah, and, and you're always like i mean nobody spends money more quickly in their heads than artists do i mean if they tell us that they're gonna buy something of us for like a thousand bucks oh my god they haven't finished saying a thousand bucks and in our brain we're just like <laughs> oh of course i can pay yeah, for this now <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah, yeah, we're yeah. already like credit card. Here we go. Yeah. Um, no, and I, I remember I felt terrible because, um, I mean, I told you. Mm. I think we were uh, celebrating your no, first sale. No, no, no. I told you, <laughs> and you were like, "Oh, that's super cool. Let me know if they uh, ask more." And then I was like, "Wow, maybe I'm gonna sell it," and I could tell him that I sold it, and then they disappeared. So I just felt like crap. But yeah, yeah I just remember that. So, so. You know, we've yeah. all felt this. A lot of us here are <laughs> artists and we've all felt that. We we know how that feels. I feel this. I, there's been a person, I'm not going to say who this person is, but there's been a person who for years and they actually collect like super cool stuff. And for years they've been asking about my work and they'll just, you know, the, 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 like a message will pop in and say like, oh, wow, this was super cool. Like, is this available? And, you know, sadly, I'm, I'm always like, no, you know, this one just, you know, just sold. So I'm sorry. And uh, and then they'll say, like, do you have anything else that's available? And, and I tell them, well, right now, this is what's currently available at the page. And uh, they'll say, oh, I like the last one. And then nothing, nothing. And, you know, I've always wanted because this person in particular like promotes a lot of the artists that they collect mm -hmm. and they collect like super, super cool, cool. artists. Yeah. And I am always short. I'm always, something is always like, I'm, I'm guessing that when they see me, it's like, oh, it's great, but maybe not quite. Yeah, block user. Yeah, as they and did with the, by the with way, me. and it's not price because I've seen stuff that they collect. That's, you know, what they have bought is probably from my current prices it's probably like 50 times like more expensive mm. like i'm not exaggerating by the way when i say 50 times like it is a lot more expensive like mm. you know easily two zeros more expensive so um so i've seen some of the work that they have and i'm always like oh maybe maybe this is it never never yeah. years and, and I it's have never to, i mean i have to come clean because now that you were talking about it, and i was talking about this there was once an artist yeah that i wanted to buy yeah something that they did and i was talking to them and i remember uh the dollar just went up like crazy mm -hmm. so i was like no I'm, i have to wait yeah i have to write them back when the uh, dollar is a little bit lower yeah. because then the shipping's going to be crazy oh, expensive. Oh, yeah, for us, it's, yeah. And I think I never yeah, it's wrote a, well, back. So I have to... I know. Well, I, I've I've probably uh, cut off some of those conversations also. So, yeah. you know, yeah, we could yeah, all yeah. be better at that. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. For sure, we could all be better. Yeah. Um, so... So uh, what I was saying was is like, yeah, what I was saying is like, follow through. Like, if you like something, if, if you like somebody's work here, for example, if you saw... Uh, Lovisa's painting, Lovisa's painting, uh, and you say, "Oh my God, Lovisa's work is wonderful!" Like I'm gonna contact Lovisa and I'm gonna see if she has anything available. And you know, again, it may not be like the most amazing work that you were like, "Oh, I just wanted this one," because that's the that's also like a bad thing when we have in mind like we just wanted this one piece of this artist then nothing else satisfies us. Like, we're always going to be comparing and comparing. I have comparing. to say I've been there. I, me too. I've me been too. there. With Ben, I could never get over the... There was a watercolor that he did of this guy. It was just a head. It was tipped over. Mm -hmm. um, he had, like, a gray beard, and it had, like, some blues in it, but it was... It's one of the most gorgeous... And whomever has this watercolor has to have one of the most beautiful things mm. uh, Ben has ever done, ever. And I was like late for a couple of days late <laughs> when I couldn't buy that one. 
And for some reason, I've never been able to get past that hurdle. Like in my mind, I'm always thinking, I wish it was that piece. Because like, I remember... I wish, I wish it was that piece. That even happened with the Sandy sculpture I gave you. Oh my... God, no, but this is like... Oh, no, but remember it was sold. The, oh, it, yes. There was a Waffle Boy the waffle and Sandy. Boy. Oh, in Sandy the Castle. the Waffle Boy. I mean, and I remember both of them. Yeah. No, but both were sold. I know, but... They appeared as sold. I know. So I was like crying. I was like, no, I wanted oh, them. Oh, Waffle Boy was so were, good. But Sandy is like incredible. Yeah, but then... What are you talking about? Let's show people Sandy. Yeah, so but know. then Sandy was available again. Pickled Circus is their yeah. uh, username? And it's I mean, an they are amazing. Sculptor. But I have to say, I wanted... I just wanted the Waffle Boy or Sandy. And they were sold. So yeah. I was like, no, I'm not going to get something. And maybe Waffle Boy was like first place. Maybe. No... But look, no, 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 Sandy, Sandy. Like, no, we, I mean, we can't look at Sandy. I bought Sandy. it for you. So. Oh, look at Sandy. Now I'm going to take it to my room. No, 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 no. This is never leaving here. So this is Pickled Circus. This is Sandy. Yeah, and they do like more look of... Look at this. Um, How good is this, for God's they sake? They do more like movie-inspired yeah. sculptures. But no, I wanted this one. Oh, oh this one's... And I turned be on the, most the notification. Ever. And I remember... I looked at a little notification bucket, that said moves. like little uh, pale. Look at that moves. It said like uh, Sandy's this one Sandy Castle sculpture is like for sale, and I was like, "What? Life's not, a not beach, Nicolas? No, life's a beach. No, yeah, but let me finish. Oh, sorry. And uh, I saw it, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's like now or never." Yeah. And I was like running everywhere trying to get my credit card to get it. So. It's again. Perfect work of art. I think yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, it's like perfect execution, perfect character, perfect everything. Yeah. I By mean, the way, we're not showing like a lot of sculptures. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we would have to have another. And honestly, and honestly, oh, you get it? Yeah. Okay. And honestly, um, I would show every single statue and every single figure that I have, because if you don't think that's art. Get out. Get like get <laughs> out. Unsubscribe. I don't want you here. <laughs> if you don't think those statues are art, that would be another cool leave. episode too. Leave right now. Because that, be that is not cool at all. In my book, you wouldn't be cool. So, we can show our statues and figures collection. I don't know. What what do we have? <laughs> so I can What do we own? Thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, ending on a sour note, Danny. Interesting uh, episode to show our figures. Oh, that's like two then. So. I don't know. A couple of SpongeBob's and we're done. <laughs> so, uh, yes, this was it. Uh, yeah, that was today. it. Yes. So, Thank buy. You, so, everyone. again, just buy, buy stuff from people that you like. It may not be the exact same thing that you wanted. Like, get over it. You know, there, there's still very cool stuff that they're doing. You know, it's maybe it wasn't the exact one. Who cares? You know, deep down, if you want to support an artist that you admire, you want to give them the chance to keep working. And the only chance they're going to have to keep working is if they sell the things that they're producing. So it may not be perfect, but just, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, it, you know, eventually, if you keep following them, following them, you'll you'll hit something that you'll think it's perfect for you. But, um, but if you were on the fence about buying somebody something from somebody just buy it and if you have the again i know we're in a recession i know everyone is probably going to be struggling a few months from now and you know what this is going to sound weird this is when we support artists the most because the first thing that dies is art, it's art yeah when there's no you know available like extra income to spend on it's anything not a necessity, so the it's... one thing that dies the easiest and the fastest is art yeah and the persons that struggle the most are artists yeah. so like we need you like everyone all of us here needs you know people that can be supportive so yeah, that would be the message. Yeah, so thank you, everyone, yes, for thank joining you. us. If maybe you're new here, uh, I am Daniela. And, and I am Daniela. And he's Nicolas. And uh, we do have a webpage. Yes. It's called ourpaintedlives.com, if you want to check it out. We have a lot of videos here. Yes. Edited and live stream videos. Yes. That you can also check out. And we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. For a regular painting session. Yes. So... Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you.